up. Hey, everyone. Hey, ho, hey, ho, hey, hey. Y'all is tearing your head. Hey, hey, Cass, damn. Let me tell you a story. Mm. You telling stories? We love we we love y'all. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Thanks for coming early, Shanna. Mm -hmm. And Cass watches rewatches a couple of times every live stream. I don't watch a couple of times. I watch one time. It just she, well, anyway, she she it. watches every live live stream that we do, and she reads every single comment that comes by. I'm Sometimes telling you. Sometimes we miss one or two. So, but yeah, guess what? Hello, how was your days? That was just good. Hello. We, we we went running about. We did something we haven't done in a while together. Stop. Yeah, we don't necessarily shop together. So we got we go individual shop because they have really, really expensive taste. They they is 82. Mm. They have really, really expensive taste. What are you talking about? I don't know that. Not really. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Zadie likes expensive stuff. Yeah. Mm. Zadie likes expensive stuff. Zaze dad gonna go in the store and put her shoe, put the shoes on and, and try to walk out like she ain't gotta pay for them. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy doody, Jason. Hey, Jason. Yeah, hey, Jason. Yeah. So we went shopping today. It was crazy. We went to the gun store. Got some got some ammo from my favorite Ace Hardware. That shit cheaper than online. Cassian goes to damn Ace Hardware. Let me tell you, expensive taste. Expensive taste. He said his grams get ready for the road trip. Yeah. yeah, ground some, zero. Someone here too. She got drive from Washington. What? They driving from Washington State. Hey, Jova Q. Hey, well, Jova. How far is that from where we going? I don't know. They got like a forty-eight hour drive. Shit. That's a long ass That's drive. That's damn near Canada. Jova, what up, brother? What up? How you doing, bro? Oh, Jason said he went to his order too. Hmm. Jason said he went to. To, to Ace, Ace Hardware. Ace Hardware, my spot. Yo, how much is that dad going nine millimeter in your Ace Hardware, Jason? For real. Because my joint is $14.99. Now, I went all online. <laughs> Just want to shout, sipping the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we, Are you sipping, you sipping Capri Juice? With me? Capri Sun? <laughs> I'm drinking my dollar juice because I took that lazy get up and get a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, $14.99. So I went online and I seen there was some that's cheaper, but by the time you add the shipping and handling, Ace Hardware always seemed to come up on top. I can't, I can't, I can't stress that enough. So yeah, went in there and replenished because the nine millimeters like one of those rounds that always, always, always have to be replenished because that's what seemed to get shot the most. Um he didn't look at Emma today. Oh, what you looked at? You got oh, what Joe you, got juice boxes. <laughs> Joe Biden, you got juice boxes, man. Mm, now you're talking that just want to shoot, been sipping on juice boxes. Just want to shoot. <laughs> oh, what's up? Yeah, man. Sip the sip them. Just have something to drink. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated in summertime, man. Stay mm. hydrated, man. I'm telling you, I was out there. He's at the gun store anyway. We at the gun store picking up ammo, looking to see what they got in there. So I said, Cassia, uh, pick out something that you uh, that you like for yourself. You know, like I said, these people in this house have really, really expensive taste. Tell me what you picked out. The gun was thirty two ninety nine. Thirty three thousand two hundred ninety nine dollars. That's a looking gun, though. She said it was beautiful. It was a uh, it was a cute that that q thing Is that 8.8.6 point, 8. blackout bolt action jump off lightweight that thing is super duper lightweight crazy it's beautiful it's beautiful yo 
That shit Press bolt action, but it moves like this. Whoa, oh my god, that bitch like glass, boy. Oh uh, yeah, it's mm. let me see the bow short. Let me grab the bow. I was just looking at the goddamn bow short. That shit's so beautiful. The bow short. <laughs> he just said bow short. <laughs> Bro short. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's that oh not crackers. Yo, yo, and um if you're talking to drink, yo, um they Usually in carnival time in Brooklyn, when they have the Jamaica, well, not Jamaica carnival, it's not Jamaica carnival, um, Labor Day thing, that the, the those nutcrackers are usually on sale, man. It's awesome. 8.6 BQ, I don't know. I'm going to tell you. He's coming back in a second. Wow. Yeah. This thing is called the Q. A Gia boat gun. Is, he says that ammo is expensive. Yeah, we looked it up. It was like uh $80 for was it $20? eighty dollars for yeah, it was two hundred dollars for like fifty rounds. No, it was eighty. Eighty rounds for two hundred dollars. Yeah, two hundred dollars for eighty rounds. Yeah, two hundred dollars for eighty rounds. That shit was so beautiful. It's so lightweight, like it's featherweight. Well, it's more, but it's not the shoot, shoot, shoot. It's more, but deliberate. It's a shot. bolt action. It's a bolt action. Yes, yeah, so but a the bolt, shot. the action is so goddamn smooth, boy. It's not like that oil mar shit that be. <laughs> it's it was like ah one finger like woo that bad baby and everything just oh my god that thing was sweet but like I said these people got expensive expensive taste boy Yo, that thing that's was, your take your time gun that thing was sexy it, it was sexy as hell you know what i mean so we're trying to see if we could find cheaper somewhere else no nah, you can't find that shit too <laughs> new mm? it is oh, so so lightweight i mean patch hmm? ammunition for it hmm? he says only gorilla is making patch, patch yeah i know i'm looking at the gorilla bow shore mm. see gorilla bow shore there's no such thing as bow shore brochure or whatever the heck you say <laughs> yo but the crazy thing right mm. Cass looks at every lob back to what i was saying she looks at every lob that we do after live over she checks it out and she gives me a critique right mm. so last week's live she said i've been looking at the lobs and she said you know we start the lobs like the muppets like a muppet show <laughs> She she said that our live starts off like the Muppet Show. You know how the Muppet Show when the cameras start rolling and they're not quite ready, and they're like, and everybody's getting confused and to, and they start start talking and no no not knowing that. And they don't know that the camera's on. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> how we started at the Muppet Show. So, <laughs> that's nuts. <laughs> it's true. It started at the Muppet Show. Yeah, it, that's exactly how the Muppet Show started. It started because we're always never quite ready when the mm. thing is on. It's always like, is it somebody there? Is anybody there? I would, never know. We were, we were, we were ready today, right? Maybe. So we we were ready today because we kind of just walked in the door and was looking. We were actually looking for sneakers to go to the sneaker ball, right? Yeah. And like I said, I, I found literally is nowhere. Like I said, these people have way expensive taste, man. I can't find it anywhere. So I really like it. anyway, we go to the store. You know, what I mean, looking for sneakers. Nah, 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 nah. We go into the Farragamo store. She found them. These are the ones. These are the ones. Yeah, they're the ones. Yeah, they're the ones. They didn't have her size. They, yeah, it was smaller. And, and they didn't have, they so have online looking. They we've been anything. online looking for the shoes. It's so, nowhere anywhere. Yeah, it's nowhere anywhere. So Because it's sexy. It's sexy. So we were at the Farragamo store looking at shoes. Mm. Anyway. And she tried on her dress that she's going to wear. I really don't like it. Well, he likes it. I likes it. What happened is the color. It's a dress I've had. My sister gave it to me. And it's just, just like, this is a nice dress. And my sisters are really expensive shoppers. Even oh, more yeah. They, they, they're way more. It, it, she said this dress is really nice and it is the, the new york fashion people who live in new york their fashion culture is is on crack uh, I'm, i am telling you they're just into this designer stuff i yeah, faded away sisters, from that my sisters are serious shoppers yo i the cut down on my designer clothes 
I, I cut down on that. Are we going to talk about the topic today? We're just going to talk. Yeah, about we're talking about the topic, but, but we get into that because Cassian, 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 Cassian. I was still have to find me a pair of sneakers though. So I don't know. This is not them, the red ones. That's I it. told you not that one. That the other one is they're out of stock. Okay. I don't really find them. I'll go somewhere else. Yeah, so uh, we're all on looking for, uh, but she got she got some she got some sneakers. But we're gonna go down to Georgia and we're gonna have us a really really good time. You know what I mean? And we're gonna represent the two alpha life for real, man. We're trying to build up. We're trying to build our brand and our story. Um, that, yeah, yeah this ain't mine. Yeah, that's why you're gonna show. This it. ain't mine. Where's the other one that you have? Anyway, guess what I got? I got stickers. What else did you get besides stickers, son? I got stickers. I got rubber bands. <sighs> Look at that! Wow, boy. I got stickers. You, I'm about to hire me a, a designer. You know, we got the holographic stickers upside down. Here we go. You know what I mean? We sending them out to all of y'all. Yeah, we got our our stickers. Shit. You ain't got buy. You ain't got buy. I was telling my man have to stop by eating carbs. We're gonna get some patches. We're gonna get some patches popping off. She said one of them sneakers. Yeah. 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 Hey, how are Jay's on? Y'all what's up? How we doing, Hobby J? What up? Welcome, welcome to welcome to two alpha life, not the Muppets. <laughs> <laughs> the Muppet show. It's true though. Yeah, man. Mm, just people with these expensive these expensive tastes. But yeah, man, we're gonna talk about it's interesting, right? Because Cassian thought always thought I, I had to get she got me out of that materialistic stuff and that expensive stuff that and made true. me get more practical. Because mm. when we first got together many moons ago when we were young. You Sir. know, young, way young. Sir. And I was a little bit crazy because I was buying like really expensive t-shirts. Yeah. It, and that was before t-shirts got expensive. Yeah, you'd spend way too much money on a t-shirt. Yeah, that's before, you know, um, before it was school, I was paying a hundred dollars for a t-shirt. That's ridiculous. Yeah. So that was 15, 20 years ago, you know. That was, that was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, and I don't, I don't, I don't go that far anymore. I don't do that. Anymore. I was like, oh hell no. You know, <laughs> she's like, what? Going and buy ten t-shirts for hundred bucks. That's Each. crazy. Each. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spent a thousand dollars on a t-shirt on nothing but t-shirts. Nope. Completely impractical. And I they're all the anymore. same brand, just yeah. different colors. Yeah, they're all the same t-shirts, just different colors. They asked me what brand it was. I ain't getting into that. You know, into it. I ain't Tommy getting into that. Nah, it wasn't no damn Tommy Bahama. Mm. It wasn't no. Uh... Mm. <sighs> we ain't getting into that. But yeah. 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 yeah but they exactly. were very soft. They were very soft and they fit a certain, they fit me a certain type of way. They say about two tensions for $10 today. Exactly. That's my kind of price. Five yeah. bucks. Yeah, so I might um, I know they were my really idea, soft. my idea of indulgence is to spend 20, 25, 25, maybe 30 on a t-shirt. Okay, that'll be like okay, that's that's good. The t-shirt. And but I yeah, be let's get to the topic of the subject, right? My regular one. Let's get to the topic of the subject. You got a little more people in here, right? We were having a conversation, right? Most of our conversations, if anybody know me, know I'm an arguer. You know, I'm mm -hmm. I'm an argue. So y'all could probably imagine how Cassian deals with me. But anyway, it's, it wasn't an argument. A lot of times I don't mean to argue, but I just want to get the complete thought across. And before people, a lot of times people don't allow me to completely articulate myself. And maybe I tell the long, I'm trying to get to the long point before. I don't know how to condense complicated issues. You know what I mean? There's two languages I don't talk. I don't talk rock, rocket science. And I don't talk stupid, motherfucker. <laughs> so these are the two languages I talk. So it may seem like either I'm too long-winded or too direct. So, and I really don't mean to be like that. So if I rubbed anybody the wrong way, I want to start by apologizing, right? But mm -hmm. this conversation started like, how does somebody really get into guns? You know what I mean? What's the first step that anybody would really do? And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get my, you know, I mean, because I was like, you know, and the whole concept came to me. It's like, oh shit, 
you know how you on on on, on out in the street or you know what i mean back in boot camp or while i was in the military you need a starter kit you know what i mean you need a starter kit i you go to i know that when i was in boot camp i don't know how you guys would serve like joe Va and shanna you you know you know more than anybody <laughs> and uh jason i know shanna know you hit up great lakes first thing you do is you get that pt gear you know what i mean so you getting ready for uh physical re requirements that was going to start you once you got your pt gear your little smurf suit then you go at all the rest of your uh uniforms i don't know how it goes in the other on the other branches but you got your pt gear and you put everything in a box and sent that shit home in the navy back in you know in the nine in the early early 90s when i was doing it i don't know how much it changed since then but you started with something so the concept was if we were getting into firearms with starting from absolutely scratch where would you start and Cass is, I asked Cass, you know, what's up? What would you, what you said? What, what was it? Well, I told him as a lay person, mm -hmm. um, you go, you Google, like how to get started or where your first firearm should be. And I told him that automatically you look at who popped up first and um, Pew Pew Tactical. Pew Pew Tactical popped actually up first. Actually popped up first. So I clicked on there and I was like, okay, fine. They show got several guns that are recommended. Including a SIG and the and two Glocks, the Glock 17 and mm -hmm. everything. You can you can pull it up and look at it. Um yeah, it. so I was like, that what you do, right? You try to try to expand, do some online research. Do a little online research, but then he was starting arguing with what I would do is I would go to YouTube and look it up. I'm like, Yeah, but not everybody think about going to YouTube as a learning channel thing. I don't know, maybe it's but me that's just because you, I like I do YouTube. But you do YouTube long before we even got in a channel even got into um, yeah i was on you i'll be was, on you he, he goes on youtube to watch videos on how to do stuff that's what that was a thrill for him but i'm like that's your youtube person not everybody necessarily even was a youtube person uh most people just google about guns and whatever pop up and then of course you did a little research and um it might take you a while especially if you have certain anxiety to actually um build up the confidence in walking to a gun store because you might feel weird about it especially um i know for me me being a person of color and a lot of these gun stores well they're not i i didn't i wasn't sure how i'd be um how i how what kind of reception that i would receive how was your reception the first actually the one of them i went to i didn't i felt like I felt like there were racist on the tones. And guess what, Armo? Stonewall out. No, but guess the what? Out in Winchester. When, no, but guess what, actually? When I walked, walked, I felt like they were like looking at me like, what are you doing here kind of thing. It didn't feel very welcoming. Uh -huh. And interestingly enough, when I got out and I happened to just go around the building, I saw on the building, there was somebody actually had a truck with a Confederate flag on it. Just, I didn't tell you. Which one was that? Stonewall. You want to use still? I told you. That I like those racist, guys. I told you that they're racist motherfuckers in there, but you still going there? I don't know what it is. I get along with racist people. I don't know what it is about me. I'm the black I'm guy. I'm just saying. I went seen as a black female. I didn't feel welcome. I'm like, yeah. I'm not going there to support him. Because this is guy. The that, second time I went there with uh, you, we were in the car. You went in, so I'm like, I'm not going in because I yeah, didn't feel I, welcome. For some reason, I get along with racist but people. To, I, but I, I remember when I went to. um when we ordered and I pick up the gun at well, the other uh, place at Bullseye, it was, I didn't feel that way. Bullseye yeah, but was, those guys are super hospitable yeah, were, and I got to give them yeah. some more money. I have to. I yeah, have to, so they were very I hospitable. have to give them some more money. They didn't make me feel weird. They were very and seriously, welcome. I never bought nothing from them. But we pick up. Oh, I, so, yeah, I, I never bought nothing. I never bought, oh, I did. I had, I bought something from them because those guys treat people so they fucking people really welcoming well. like you walk yeah. in the store have a seat whatever i mean mm -hmm. those guys are so dope so i went i i they i, I had to go in there to buy i had to buy something because i go in there so yeah. i go buy a box but of bullets. I, I i told him that um compared to that place in that was in yeah, yeah 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 and bullseye it was like night and day because i felt anxious going in there especially when we're just getting the other side of it and stuff bullseye, and how, they, how they looked at bullseye is with, used to dealing with the more diverse clientele than those guys over that there. is true and a more 
exclusive uh, financial situation than those guys over there. Yeah, but they looked at me funny like, what the hell are you doing in there? So I... But they always I, treated me I, nice in there, though. So I don't I don't know. What's up, Booby? I don't know. And they don't have a, you know... You know. I ain't gonna say the name of the place, but yeah. I don't know the name. I just know where it's located and there's a freaking give her your phone. My phone is almost dead. I said, do not hit the phone, Yeah, though. give her the, uh, my other phone. Mm. Sorry, um, we have a little phone monster here with damaged yeah. phones. Yeah. Which one? Her phone? My phone. Yeah. Give me my phone, Cassian. Mm. Take the phone. Get up. Get lost. Beat it. Beat it. Beat it, big girl. She's fine. She'll be disappointed. So yeah. Um. Anyway, so we were up, we were out there. So it's like, where the heck do you start, right? So I was like, all right. You go to the gun store and she tell her, finish telling them about your pew pew tactical thing. Yeah, so I just I went to that's the first thing that popped up. And I mean people tend to do the first thing that popped up. I'm um, just playing on big screen. Hmm? Exactly. I completely agree, Joe Bak. Unfortunately, females tend to tre be treated condescendingly as that is so true. That is so true. Um, and it wasn't even condescending. It was just, it, 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 it wasn't welcome. It looked at me funny, like, what the hell are you doing in here kind of thing. Um, I'm going to say that they were nice. And I don't know. Maybe it's a female it, I, I, thing. Like I, I said, I don't stuff. know if it was a female thing. But the guy yeah. at the at the little store down the block from here, she said the same thing about him. It's an um, Indian guy. guy. The Indian guy at the little at the town store. Well, they don't. They, they, some of some of them don't treat women good anyway. Oh. That's their culture. Some uh, of them. I I don't know, but he always seemed nice to me. I don't know. Uh, biggest and, and, and racist and stuff seem to get along with me, man. I don't know why. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, but we started talking about it, and she gets on pew pew tactical, right? She said, "Yeah, I look at." And they said, yeah, what were some of the selections you, you found? I mentioned the Glock 1719 SIG. Mm -hmm. um, they had a lot on there. That's what I remember offhand. But yeah. the point is that um, you, as a, as a new person, who's was just who's was not usually around mm -hmm. guns, and you say, okay, fine, I want to get guns to protect myself, right? Mm -hmm. So, Or for um, whatever reason. Or for whatever reason that you decide to get a gun. I mean, you have to go through your moments of anxiety and fear. Go ahead. Oh, you like to argue. They ain't with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You like to argue. They ain't with that. But, um, mm -hmm. so, yeah. So, you, you, at first, you have to get over the anxiety of, of going, the anxiety of actually. Especially a first time, especially a first timer, right? So I guess you might find somebody who may already be a gun owner to help walk you through the process um, and deciding what works best for you. Mm -hmm. um, I know initially I was thinking I didn't want a big gun or a um, gun because Zadie, oh. Zadie, take that in the room. Zadie, can you please go in the living room, please, for me? Excuse okay? me. Go ahead, just go. just take her to the come here, Bobby. Come on, come on. Come on. She wants to stay right here. You can't be that loud, though, Bobby. Yeah, be quiet. Okay, so shush, shush, no screaming. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, the anxiety. Yeah, you have to get over the anxiety, and I guess that's where it helps. Um, with finding with finding someone who's already been, but I know even um. Initially, the first thought is that mm -hmm. even as a female, is that you wanna you wanna have a small gun, um, I guess because even a bigger gun can be in intimidating. Um, but then Arma was saying that actually you need to have a much more solid of a let pistol. Me, let me interrupt on that. Okay. So as she was looking at Pew Pew Tactical, all the the firearms that Pew Pew Tactical was recommending was Sig 365, uh, Sig 320, three Sig. 365 XL, Glock 17, Glock 19, you know, HK, at the, you know, uh, CZP10C, you know, all of these things as uh, a good choice of first gun. 
and that was a reason for that, right? And, I, and one of the things I was saying, not some a lot of people they want to get, uh, especially females, and even some guys that I know, they want to walk in and they want to get something sleek, something small, something completely concealable. That could be more ease of a, so and it. I don't oh. think that that should be the first start. And and anybody in here could weigh in if y'all want. I don't think that should be a first start on your gun enthusiast starter kit because one i don't think if you i think if you start with something like that for one you're not going to enjoy your shooting experience and if you don't enjoy your shooting experience you're not going to shoot as much and then your journey is going to stop at that firearm so therefore i recommend it similar to what pew pew tactical did with a compact or a full size firearm on that side right i wouldn't go as far as saying a glock or a sig because of dedicated price you might not like it even with that so i don't think you should spend over a certain amount especially on your first purchase i mean we we were looking at what would the price be and we kind of decided at five hundred dollars five hundred dollars would be a fair number but then again Max. but then i was like what about i, I mean the other thing some people may not have 500 dollars they don't want a gun so what about 300 you can get something if you i think if you can get something at 300 dollars, right that's comparable to something that's 500 dollars. so the general standard is probably a glock 19 a glock 17. that's your measuring stick that's your standard how close can i get to a glock 19 or a glock 17 for 300 dollars. that's where your review and your critics start you know what i mean that's where your review start how close to a glock 17 or a glock 19 can i get for less than 500 dollars? and then once you find that list of things then you scroll scrolling down if you got more than 500 if you got 500 dollars total to spend and more buy the damn Glock, buy the damn Sig, buy the Smith and Wesson. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Then some people don't want to do a three gun. No, or or these are the ones that are over five hundred. All of those guns are over the five hundred dollar mark. Mm -hmm. Not by much, but they are. But if you're not willing to go that far, anything that you buy for less, those are the, that Glock 17, that Glock 19, needs to be something whatever under five hundred dollars that's what you need to compare it to or look at the reviews on it how does it compare to the glock 19. how does it compare to the glock 17. how does it compare to smith and wesson mmp how does it compare to the cz the cz p10 you know what i mean and just just work it from there because if you want to spend three hundred dollars how does it compare because you could spend three hundred dollars and get this palmetto state dagger and i happen to have one you know uh and it's de it's comparable to a Glock 17 and 19, but I don't personally think it's like the real thing. But it's good. It's fine. I ain't have a problem. I never had a problem with it. But for three hundred dollars, shit, it does everything the Glock can do. So three hundred bucks for three hundred bucks. Yeah, I mean, it it really does. It's not as nice or. The fit and finish See, is very I different. I said my two first guns were sub five hundred combined. So, you know, but how long ago is that though, Howard J? But just to start, just to start, just what I'm saying though, just to start, mm -hmm. start with that. No, but I'm just wondering how A long ago is that because gun prices have gone up. So gun prices that's that going up. That price, how long ago was that for you to say your first two guns? For 500 combined are we talking five years ago 10 years ago 50 years ago like but i really would go with i really no matter what you start with if you have a, a top of the line peak of your budget at 500 when you're just starting off start with the handgun right if you're going to sell 500 i wouldn't really go anything below 250. now i bought firearms for 250 dollars no it's fine i'm <laughs> Why are we upset? Sorry, we just kind of jumped off. This one just decided to have a little bit of a fit here. 
So maybe she's she's ready for bed. Huh? Yeah, my daughter throws. My daughter's a lot like me. She throws tantrums when she don't have her way, and she needs absolutely all the attention in the world. She needs absolutely all the attention in the world. You know. Yeah, she's okay. She wants to. You want to come on TV? Come on TV with us. Come on. She wants to come on here with us, Cassian. Yeah. She want to come on TV with us. What's up, Willie? What's up, Willie? You know what I mean? What's good? So back to what I was saying. We have we have a we have a technical difficulties with my jealous belly daughter. She's smiling. She's jealous belly. But this is the deal, right? So like I said, if I think somebody should start off with the, a handgun until Cass gets back. I think somebody should just start off with a handgun, right? Less than five, $500 or less if you can make it. If you can go over that, eat your heart out. You know what I mean? See what you like. The second thing I would do is pay for a range membership. right the third thing is take a class for the ccw or whatever your thing is in your jurisdiction when you purchase the firearm purchase at least two boxes of ammunition so your firearm in your am in your two boxes of ammunition of not nine millimeter ammunition should add up total with tax five hundred dollars but that's because that's your cap and the Glock 19 is your standard when you're doing your research. Glock 19, Glock 17 is the standard, right? Now, over the years, especially the past couple of years, I've seen some really good deals. And I just mentioned that Palmetto State Armory, I, I paid like less than $300 for, you know? And then there is, I hear the Stoger as well. You know what I mean, there's a lot of, you Glock clones that's a, that are out there that a person could start with, and then buy ammo, range membership, and the hardest, hardest, hardest part of the whole thing is actually free. You need to find somebody who you can go shoot with. For real, for real. You not friendly. Even if you're not fr you having a responsibility at being coming a gun owner. If you're not a very friendly person, you need to learn how to fucking be friendly. For real, for real. And that's the hardest part, and that shit is free. That that shit is free. You may not be a friendly person, right? But if you're starting off becoming a gun owner, you have to learn how to be friendly. So find somebody to go shooting with, right? After you shoot, whether you, you figure out whether you enjoy it, you get some pain as if you want to take it to the next step and get some lessons, you know, extend your thing, or you want to self-train or whatever. But at some point in that journey of that first pistol, right, you're going to decide, you're going to need to decide, in Armel's opinion, what's your next step? Some people next step, I'm doing this purely on self-defense. That first pistol may not be your self-defense pistol uh, uh, weapon if you're going to purely go on a line of self-defense or you want to accelerate and get into something further like tactics or other guns. So you either going to, in that case, what I'm saying is you're either going to go bigger or you're going to go smaller. Actually, if, I would think, honestly, my first gun, because remember I told you I wanted something that was noisy? I always see that the shotguns in movies that go... <laughs> So you want something to scare people away. So it's, would, it's not a matter of scaring people. Away. I, I think it's the noisy shotgun. It's more of the movies. versatility, but you can't carry a shotgun around. It don't extend past the house. <laughs> so that's maybe a third step or a fourth step or however you decide. So if you just want to go like personal defense, you know what I mean? You might want to go smaller. If you want to get more into it, you might choose your next step to be a shotgun or a rifle. So what I call that is the second step being the bigger, smaller, the bigger, smaller. The bigger, smaller, the bigger, smaller, uh, the bigger, smaller step would be your second step. Whether you're going to go smaller, 
Well, I'm going to get me a subcompact thing. I got good with the full size or the compact. I'm good with it. I'm confident with it. If I'm going to go down smaller to get something more comfortable to carry just for self-defense, or I'm going to go into, I like this size. I'm comfortable with it. I don't give a fuck who see it. And I'm moving to the next step, which is going to be a long gun, shotgun, rifle, whatever it may be. Scenario, right? Some people may go from that full size to compact pistol and go to a uh, micro compact or one of these carry size concealed weapon, 6365, CZP10S, CZP10M. Like we have around here, something smaller. Um, micro compact, this is, and they're fine getting the car and go. And they don't need shit else. I swear to God, most people don't need shit else, right? And they go to range however many times and just do their thing, and they're comfortable. They got their full size and they got their everyday carry. That full size is their home defense gun. That full that full size compact gun is a multi purpose tool. You know what I mean? So that shit is that Glock 19, Glock 17 size comparable pistol is their home defense the backup every it does everything it needs to do the subcompact is the purse gun or you know what i mean that they don't so that's your second step into their gun enthusiast journey and they're going to get good with those two and they're very comfortable the other side of it is they're going to move to the upscale upsize get a long gun I wouldn't recommend again when you're getting the long guns. I wouldn't recommend. I always use the five hundred dollar standard. You know what I mean? So your next step, once you go with this pistol, the next five hundred dollars you're gonna spend is going to be on a long gun. That long gun could go two ways as well. It can go to a, a shotgun, which Cassian like the big. And you, she like big guns, you know. Well, now you know what? Which gun is it that I that I sh what's the big gun that I shot? See him? Is she? she my lip. Which one? Against my shoulder. Um. Was it a Tavor? Tavor. I don't know. Yeah, the Tavor. The Tavor. I, remember, I remember it was one of those guns. And yeah. Then, and I what happened is my Tavor bust lips. You know what I mean? Was it a bus? Was it a Tavor? Right? Yeah, it's always a Tavor. Look, I have a I, I have a Tavor Seven, right? It's a three oh eight. Any improper form whatsoever, you're gonna pay for it with it. You know, um, your ergonomics, your 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 stance. If you hold it improperly, you're gonna feel you're gonna feel the you're gonna feel the pain. You know what I mean? The ejection. If you over here and turn it sideways, it's gonna eject in your face. It throws it throws shells three four five feet away you know what i mean it, it it just you need to hold it and not drop it drop it down or anything but it it makes you develop your form your shooting form better or else you're going to end up hurting yourself bust my lip and and she bust and she bust her lip on it you know because she's up she holds it up held it um improperly and it, it lets you know it feed, it feeds you anyway so i'll say pick a uh 500 comparable right so i'm gonna give this 600 for a long gun nah i'm gonna even go up 700 he said drop the link in seven minutes 700 i'm gonna get for your long gun right so you go to your long gun, you seven hundred dollars. What I would recommend for a long gun, easiest, especially if you whether you have experience with it or not. But before you even get that long gun, when you find your friends at the pistol range and and you building up with your original uh, full size or compact size, try out the AR-15s and the AK-47s. Rent those while you at when you paying for your range membership or whatever right because everybody is not an ar guy contrary to what people think everybody is not 
an AK guy, contrary to what people think. And AK guys are not weird. It's just personal preference. Both of them are there, and both of them are highly effective uh, uh, of tools. And if you ask me, I think you should have both. <laughs> but um, um, th- so people should have purchase a long gun, AR or AK or both, and a shotgun or both. The uh, uh or all three, and that should go. And that should set up the pathway to a hearty, hearty, nice setup. Three, three guns. A long gun, right? A full size to compact gun, right? And something that you could EDC everyday carry comfortably that that's with you at all times when you're in or out of the I house. Think so when I looked at the stats, I think it was 32% of Americans actually have three, two to four guns, right? Two to four guns? Go ahead. Yeah. To the no, machine. no, I'm trying to remember. It's only 29% actually have five plus. I think it was 32% actually have three, two to four, and 37% had only one handgun, um, well, one gun, period. Okay. So I thought that was kind of interesting that, I mean, it's, it's almost like a third, third, third. It's, um, it's almost equal. Um, I think your starter should, your starter kit should have at least three, three to five guns. The starter kit, a full size pistol, a compact pistol and some sort of long gun. I don't think you should go, but you should go wrong. That full size, once you get good with that full size pistol, and you decide to go the way of a subcompact, right? That full size pistol shouldn't really leave the house. And you could stop, literally stop right there. Mm-hmm. You got something to move around Can with. Stop right there. I didn't. I, I, <laughs> you see, cast start trouble. I didn't stop right there, mm-hmm. right? Did you stop right there? <laughs> I didn't stop right there because that go is, hard and so everything. Really, really wants to know what's a good first AK. Hmm? What's a good first AK? Something you don't spend a lot of money on because you don't know if you're going to like it. I don't believe in wasting, you know, blowing a bag on something that you're on an uncertainty. You know what I mean? If I was just to get an AK, man, I do a little research. I'll get. It. I got a. I got a PSA. I got a PSA. Ain't not, that shit is fine with me. It. But I don't have know, anything to compare it to. Them, but didn't the last meetup people um, shot your AKs and liked it? Though? Everybody like they don't know you what have it is. Footage. You have but my PSA people. is so modified that it's really not a PSA no more. Like I got ALG trigger. It's it's so geeked up. It's not it. My PSA is so souped up. It's not a PSA no more. So people don't know what they're shooting. So you have bunch yeah. of people going, what? Yeah. This is nice. They thought it was like a dissolve. My my PSA AK was a dissolve all, all, but it's not a PSA no more. Is it's souped up a little bit? Yeah, everything I, everything I, is upgraded. Like I probably paid like six seven hundred dollars for it, but they probably got like six seven hundred dollars more in shit on it. You hey, know? doing? She's your mommy, Sunny Five RML seven seven one. Thanks for having me in. What's, What's up, up, Joe? Bob? I miss you, man. Hey, What's I just want to make a comment about what you said about the five hundred dollar price mark and everything else. Right. Uh, and so, if you just say five hundred dollars, that's going to kind of limit yourself to what you can buy. Now, if you would think about your, your your handguns in, in three grades, say like a uh, consumer grade, a professional grade, and an industrial grade, right? So you know, consumer, you're going to go out and shoot every so often, not putting a lot of rounds through it. Professional grade, you're going to kind of run it hard. And industrial grade, you know, you're going to run the crap out of it a lot. Like mm-hmm. every weekend, 500,000 rounds a weekend. Mm-hmm. So we need to identify what is the purpose that I'm getting this for. And I was driving, so I was fading in and out of the conversation. So like you said, they can go to a local gun store and rent guns, or if they got friends that have guns, they can kind of shoot different things to see how that handgun fits them ergonomically because you can have the best handgun in the world that does everything by itself. But if you can't hold it and grip it, you can't shoot it properly. 
right? That's next week's conversation. Say again? That's part of next week's conversation. That, but it, it plays into how I'm going to select that gun. If I if I want a handgun just for a bedside nightstand, I can go with something a little bit bigger, a longer sight radius, everything else, right? It doesn't do me any good to get a, let's say, a Glock 17 for 500 bones when I can't control the recoil of a 9 millimeter effectively. So I have to look at other things. Then also we have to take a look at ammunition, right? Because I got my range practice ammunition. I have my defensive ammunition. So with certain guns, oh, yeah. Yo, well, from scratch, from the door is what I'm saying. Oh yeah, yeah, but I'm, that's what I'm talking from about. The door. This is starter kit. I, I'm I'm coming from New York. I'm coming from New York. I moved down to Tennessee, and I'm going to get into this shit. Where do I go? I don't even know if I'm gonna like it yet. I'm yeah, so like, so, I'm so still shaking. Everything I'm saying. So let's mm -hmm. say CZ Mommy comes into the LGS where I work at. There's going to be certain things that I ask. Them. But first, I'm going to make them feel comfortable and say, hey, how's everything going? Yada, 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 whatever. Do all that BS, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to say, well, what, what is it you're trying to do with this gun? You know? And, and then we'll go from there. And we'll, you know, kind of figure this, out. I don't know. This is how the thing goes, Jova. I don't know. All right. Well, that's cool. That's cool. So let's say you want to get this gun for personal protection because where we live at now, you can get a CD. Uh, uh, a license to carry or whatever it's called. Here are some popular options, right? And we'll we'll go through, hey, you've probably done some research and you've seen Glock 19. Here's a Glock 19 Gen 3, Gen 4, Gen 5. This is what it feels like. This is what it does. Here is a, uh, a Smith & Wesson. Here's a Canic. Here's this. Here's that. Now, take a look at all these handguns. They're all basically the same size, the same form, mm -hmm. right? So now we got that. Oh, I like this one. Okay. Well, this one has X amount of capacity. This one has this. This one has interoperability. All right, I'm going too fast for you. All right, no problem. Hey, look, let's go downstairs to the range and let's try some of these guns we got in the rental cage. All right. Out of all the three that you like, which one do you like the best? We picked that one up. All right, we're going to shoot a couple of rounds. You've never shot before. Too easy. All right, so this is how you... Load a magazine, load around, you know, just walk through all that stuff. Get them comfortable with it. Hey, guess what, CZ Mommy? I don't work on commission. I I'm just working off my community service right now. You selling some shit, Joe Va. Take it. <laughs> you selling some shit right now. You know, hey, no, take your time. Um, he's explaining yeah. how we would try to get someone mm -hmm. who's a first time yeah. buyer mm -hmm. to buy well, a gun. But the thing is, I mean, I understand but why. The, a first time gun buyer, um, gun, gun buyer who may not initially have been an enthusiast, the why is going to be a personal reason, right? And the it why may, and, is going to be, and, and I don't feel side of safe that? in my home, or this is what's happening. Or for me, it was the, the, the scare of, of, of people shooting babies. So as a first time gun, 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 gun buyer, you're gonna, your why is going to be very personal to you to in you. terms of yeah. and then the other yeah, side of so. it. And why do I have to have a why? This is America. I don't, no, I want no, 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 But if you can tell me some of the reasons you're, you're looking to get a handgun, I can kind of steer you in a handgun that's going to better suit your purpose. Because if you don't tell me why, I'm going to sell you a Taurus judge. No, let me give you, okay, why let me clarify the why. Now? Let me clarify the why as a new gun owner customer. I want to get into guns because I never was able to because I came from New York. I don't have a thing, reason. I don't need defense. I could beat a motherfucker ass with these. You Fair know, enough. I'm nice with these. You know, I'm mean? nice. But why? I, but but why because I, I like I wanted because I, I wasn't able to do it before. Fair, Fair enough. Enough. But you want to live like her now. So where do I start? I might want to start, but yes. I might not know if I like it or not. So, Let me so try it out. Armel. Yeah. So for someone like you, I would say, hey man, here's a Glock 19, very popular gun. Here's the advantages of Glock 19. You have a lot of aftermarket support and services for it. There's only 37 parts in the Glock 19 in their frame, right? When you start going from Gen 3 to Gen 4 to Gen 5, some of the parts are a little bit different. But basically with a Glock 19, you can go anywhere in the country and you can get support for it. It's like having a national roadside assistance warranty. How much Anybody? it costs? Say again? How much it costs? 
Hey, are you former military, Leo? Um, no, no, nah, nah, I just moved down here. You just moved down here? Great. You all your stuff? I, I can moved get down you. here with my new baby moms. All right. I can get you in this Glock 19, 550 out the door, and I'm going to throw in three extra mags. My call. Yeah, man. I only got 450. You got 450? All right. We got some pretty, we got some pretty good used guns in here. But let's all right. Let's look at something else. Let's look at Smith and West. Role right? We role play. Q. We role play. Yes. Joe, role Joe. Yes. I'm gonna sell you. Joe, Joe, we role playing, right? Yeah, you get it right. Sales pitch. <laughs> Please, man. Are you right? You got you got four fifty. You said. Nah, but you know, I also got to get some gas for the week. I'm down to like. <laughs> do we, do we, I'm down, how much you said it was? Hey, I only really got 350 because I only get paid next week. All right. <laughs> when, when are you looking at uh getting into your gun? When do you need it? I need it now, but you I got 450. But I'm only, I, you know, I don't want to put myself in a bad position because I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna I'm gonna, need, <laughs> I'm gonna need some. I know this gun gonna need some bullets or something or. Or some kid tape. I got, I got you, man. Check this out, right? I'm, I'm gonna throw in some ammo and everything else. So here's what we'll do. <laughs> you get paid twice a week, every week. What? What you got? Uh, that's all I got, man. That's all. all, right. that's all I got. So, so let, let's do this, man. Let, let's try and raise up some more money so I can get you into this new joint. Five fifty out the door. With everything I said I was gonna do for you, everything else that's on me. So, right? I'll, 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 how about a payment plan? <laughs> No, I want mine now. I can't have a play. You can't afford yours right now. You I mean, we could, we, hey, so, so here's the deal right here. We could we could work something out and everything else. I can give you 60 days to pay it off, man. But here's the problem. Yeah. Pay it off in 60 days. Yeah. Right. But I want to get in my start my thing. Can yeah. I can I shoot it now? Yeah, if you're gonna give me some money on it. <laughs> we got Look, to pay I want to be out the door with my shit. I might not. I don't like the way you're doing business, sir. <laughs> All right. Oh, I can use guns. Down. I don't like Sir, I don't like the way you do. You trying to upsell me. No, nah, all right. Know, hey, I'm hey, from hey, New York. Hey, I got hey, game, sir. man. Yeah, you trying to upsell me, sir. Hey, sir, let me go ahead and check my computer for the inventory. All right. And um do let you me got anything that. else I could do the same thing. Yeah, let me let me check my computer for the inventory that we just got in and everything else. Ooh, Armel 771. Oh, that motherfucker. What's like up, Patrick Irie? <laughs> Wagwan, Wagwan. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You came back, Armel seven seven one, man. They said you argumentative and you got to fight. You like to fight. <laughs> here's what I can do for you. I got some used guns down here, man. I can get you in the Smith and Wesson right now, out the door with three extra mags. It's not yeah. as high. What, what are we talking about? Three fifty. Uh, yeah, I can get you up for three fifty, man. We good to go, boy. God damn. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I get, I get two boxes of ammo too, right? Yeah, I'm gonna get you that. And you could get me a uh, concealed weapons class to go with that, right? No, we we offer them here at the store, but you have to sign up for that. It's like right now, I'm losing money on this, but I understand your situation. But here's what I'm gonna do: I'm gonna give you two free range passes. I want you to come in here, get some training, do some shooting, check out our rental guns. Oh, that's a good deal, right? Yeah. That's a good deal, man. Let's get hey, out. Of What's your name, fact, bro? Hey, as a matter of fact, hey, Armel, you know what? Here's my personal business card. You got any questions? Hit a brother up. Bro, what's your name? Uh, Jay. Just call me Joe. Jay. Joe. Yeah. That's Joe. Joe, what up, man? Yo, you know any new shorties out here? Because my baby mom's be getting on my nerves. She don't be wanting to shoot. <laughs> hey, I, I tell you what, man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we just came down here from New York. Bro, don't do it. You're going to be caught up in a real live failure attraction in this motherfucker. <laughs> don't do it. Nah, don't do it what, you think? what do you think of his salesman? Yeah, we took him to a career good. salesperson. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, nah, no. Nah, it sounds like it's good, but he had you because you were difficult and, and broke. I'm always <laughs> difficult. I'm always <laughs> difficult. <laughs> and I ain't yeah, never got enough money. You did a good job. He's difficult and broke. <laughs> yeah. Hey, see, see, Marty? Yeah. I argue. I, I'm difficult and I never it? have enough money. <laughs> now, hey, I had to pull up my computer, right? I'm, I'm looking at this from all the other gun stores in town. They're like, be on the lookout for this motherfucker. He like the argue. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I said, I love it. They took a picture of your ass and send you everywhere. <laughs> They're on the alert for this dude, y'all. He's broke and cheap. <laughs> An argument. <laughs> Hey, I had to take one for the FFLs, man. <laughs> <laughs> you should charge him more. You can up to him, but you 
Virginia. Okay, okay, I got my first pistol right, Joe. We're going right, to get so, but, but again, I was saying about like your prices and everything else. So and that's one thing that has to play into it. You can get some really decent used firearms, and, and they talk about that as well. Yeah, they might be like guns that was like someone buys a gun and they get like in a real bad situation and need some money, never fired around or fired one or two rounds through it. And they're, you know, they have to sell them for 80% of the book value. Um, sometimes those are really I good. I only shot twice. Yeah. But, but the problem with that is you get some gunsmiths that go in and start tinkering stuff and changing stuff and everything else. And then you go to shoot it and you got a runaway sear on your hand. Yeah. Everyone thinks that shit's cool. Until it facing a fucking uh, excuse me, until it facing a uh, ten years and two hundred fifty thousand dollar fine because it did that at the wrong time. And right. Explain it, you know. So you, those are some of the things that we get the best quality you can get for the for the least amount of money. From a certified dealer. Um, from a reputable name. <sighs> man, you you're gonna make me say this as much as I hate to say it, man. But this is the first time, but for real. Yeah, but no, just, so just, I just, know it. I know you're about it. This hurts my soul. I would say the best bang for the buck, the return on investment, everything else, it has to be the Glock. And I would say Glock for several reasons. One, it's a proven arm. All right. Um, they are Glocks are very easy to work on, right? Just as a guy sitting down at his kitchen table is real easy to work on Glocks. There are so there's so much aftermarket support for Glocks to where it's unreal, right? The secondary market Glocks are just up there, right? So you got you got PSA Dagger, which is a Gen 3 clone. You got Zev. You have um, uh, what's the company in Florida? Live Free Armory. There's so many places and people that make Glock Gen Shadow. 3. Shadow. Shadow. Um, you have Polymer 80. Right. So you're getting a lot of you're getting 40 years, 50 years, 40 years of, you know, reputation going behind Glock. You get a lot of um, service around the world and everything else. OK, and, screw the brand. Right. Because well, I make no goddamn Glock commercial, Joe. No, no we, I'm agree with you. I'm not even going to argue with you. I, I right? it hurts, it hurts What's the next step thing? after that. So you recommend, OK, we're going to get this Glock 19. You you sold me all this Smith and Wesson M&P. Shield too, or whatever the hell you sold me just now, right? I've been coming for a couple of months now. This is this is about that gun that 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 um that that gun addict starter kit. You know what I mean? I'm yep. building up now. Four or five months pass, right? You be seeing me. What up, Joe? What up, Joe? This thing is buck. This thing is bucking. Thanks for the recommendation. What's next? Yo, get your, hey, get your weight up, son. Man, I, I give I give you get my weight up. Now what's going. next? What, what what I'm going? Right up like, bro, I've been saving like, up bro. my money. I got a seven hundred this time. I got seven hundred and I'm ready to spend every dime. All right, so check I got seven hundred and I'm ready to spend every dime. Right, so, so check this out, right? Here, here's what we can do. Which way you want to go? You still want to go personal protection? Yo, this shit is this shit is fire. I'm good with it. Yo, but it's a little bit too big for me to move around with. All right. So check this out, man. Yo, we got these SIG 365s in here. Here's the cool thing about SIG 365. It's modular. It's modular, man. So you can take the fire control unit, you can take your trigger out, put a different grip on it, put a different slide on it. It's like having a different girl every night. And your I was just compared to this other joint that I see right here. This other joint. What, what, which, what, which, which other one? Joint? You know, uh, hell, uh, the Hellcat. The Hellcat, I ain't got too much experience with the Hellcat. A lot of people like them, but here's the deal right here. It's it's, it's kind of niche. It's not that much aftermarket, secondary market support. Hellcats aren't that easy to work on at your kitchen table. So if it was me, I personally own a 365. Matter of fact, okay, okay. scratch that. Them. Okay, thank you. You sold me a subcompact firearm right now. What? Right? Yeah, You're a good-ass salesman, damn Joe. Yeah. Let me tell you that. Say if I don't want it, I come back. Scratch the subcompact. I want to go another direction. Yo. You want to go full? Yo. All right. Four months pass. I had my little Glock 19, Glock 17, or my Smith & Wesson m &P joint. You sold me, right? You gave me a deal on Joe, yo, I got nice with this. I'm ready to move on to the next step. I've been watching YouTube, and everybody telling me I should get an AR or AK. Let me try out one of them. Sell me an AR for the first time. 
All right, so check this out. Hey, before you do that and drop that coin in there, because I'm not going to recommend one of these $500, $600 build your kit yourself ARs because you can mess stuff up. Check this out. How much time you got today, bro? How much time you, you got? Know I got uh, you know I got to go to work, man. I got to go home. Got 20 minutes. Go the hell. I got $700, yo. Yeah, yo, bro, you got 20 minutes? You got you got 20 minutes. I got seven hundred dollars. Hey, let's, let's go down to the range. I want you to shoot some of these ARs. The first one you're going to shoot is a seven hundred dollar AR. The next one you're shooting is a nine hundred dollar AR. The third one you're shooting is a twelve hundred dollar AR. You tell me which one you like the best. And here's your ammo. Just shoot it. Tell me which one you like. All right, I'm gonna shoot all these shits. Damn man, this shit. Too, this shit is nice. This twelve hundred dollar AR. This shit is the bomb, man. What is this? A BCM or something like that? Thirteen hundred. That shit is nice, but I can't uh, make that move because I got bill. So I'm going to try to get this $900 AR right here. Can I take a payment on this, Joe? Yeah, you know what? I'll take a payment on the $1,200. For you, I knocked that shit down to uh, eleven oh five because I'm an eye. All right. All right. <laughs> so that's a deal, Joe. Let me get right. that, and I'm going to build up from the AR. All right. Now, 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 check this out, right? Since it's your first time with an AR, here's what I'm going to do. Because here, when you buy a handgun from us, it will give you a range pass. I'm going to give you two range passes. Call me up when you want to come shoot. I'll show you some things about the AR. And then also, we're running the AR Basics Introduction class. And guess what? Your name's on the list. Which Yo, you guess got. what, bro? Your gun shop losing business like a motherfucker. Bro. No, I mean, we don't. You shit. giving away too much free shit. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Here, here's the deal, Armel. Because hopefully, and I'm taking a risk, I treat you right. That word of mouth is going to spread. Good service doesn't spread as, as fast as bad service, okay. right? But you're going to keep coming back because you know I'm going to treat you right. And whatever I lose, I'm going to write off. And believe it or not, that's how we started off this live. Like, say, for instance, Cass had a bad experience with guys that, you know, treated me good when I go in there. But I don't buy from them. Yeah. Cats that treat both of us good. We go at separate times. Like, this place that's close to here it's a small little mom and pop shop but they've always been, nice. they've always been I know we go I separately we don't go at the same time i took my nephew down there right it's a small this shit is smaller than my uh dining yeah, room i'll tell you what Emma, besides that one day i actually had zadie with me and they were and zadie was sometimes you have a little episodes and stuff and they were so sweet hey, Pat, was, Gary, he said he wasn't a veteran man Huh? I'm watching it. Oh, the veteran discount, Emma. Yeah. <laughs> you, forgot to, you forgot to mention the veteran discount. Hey, yeah, when he first came in, he said he wasn't a veteran. Who? Did you say Who? that? I didn't say that. Yeah, you did. I asked you. If you nah, I said that. forget it because I didn't want to like that. Law enforcement. You was like, nah, nah. I just got to say. Oh, I, I, man, I was just freestyling the goddamn <laughs> role play, <laughs> man. Yeah, we was playing Dungeons and Dragons on Gun Store, bro. <laughs> that was like Dragon Ball Z. We were playing Dungeons and Dragons. Yo, Patrick, why you got to be all analytical, man? <laughs> Patrick got to be all analytical. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Damn Jamaicans. Got to <laughs> analyze my words, man. <laughs> Don't be knocking oh, up. <laughs> yeah, hold on, okay. Where are you going? Yeah, so, so CZ Mommy. Where are you going? Where are you going? You going? Yeah, HCZ Martin. No, you can't use the bathroom. Excuse me, gentlemen. Cass got the show. Go ahead. Hey, CZ Mommy. Mm -hmm. So so one of those things like that, right? Like 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 Armel said, there's a gun store here where I live at, and some of their prices are a little bit higher than what I can do online with other people. But I go there for a certain reason because I want to keep their lights on. If I gotta go tweak something, the owner lets me go in after hours, before hours, during hours to fix stuff, to tweak stuff. I can walk behind the counter. You know, I can go down to the range and shoot before the range opens, after the range closes. So it's just that customer service. So, mm -hmm. and that is so I, important. To yeah. I mean, one thing I've known, I mean, I've been doing sales almost all my life. And you just never know who people are. So you can never take people at face value and be with yes. them. And I've learned that many, many years ago. So no matter who it is, what they look like, you should always treat them well and fair. Yes. Never know. Well, and um, there's, and you know, there's between me and some of my associates, it's not uncommon for us just to drop, say, 10 or 15 grand in a month just on shooting shit. 
And whether he has it in the store, he orders it for us, we're going to go with him and give him his markup and his percentage. Mm -hmm. Just because, because of how someone treats you. Exactly. Yeah, call him up and say, hey, you know, I need this. You know, I need a CZ uh, TSO. All right, cool. Yeah, they got it. All right, here, I'm going to give it to you at this. Mm -hmm. The price. And I'll just charge you a background fee and a transfer fee. Like, well, you know what? You come in there and you look at your receipt. Like, hey, man, you mischarged me. It's like, yeah, you didn't charge me the uh, transfer fee. It's like, yeah, whatever, man. You know? Yeah. They got to charge the background fee because that's collected by the state. But, but they didn't charge the transfer. But yeah, yeah. because they know that they're going to get it tenfold because of you. Cause yeah, because I'm going to come in there. I'm going to take yeah. someone to go shoot. I'm going to, mm -hmm. like, the last time I was shooting with someone, went in there and, like, like that day, you know, was pr projected to shoot 150, 200 rounds. End mm -hmm. up piece of ammo, so you know, end up dropping like 500 bucks in ammo that day. And then later on that day, the individual came back and brought a gun. You mm -hmm. know, first time shooter and everything else. And mm -hmm. we sat down. It's like, hey, yo, this is where we got everything else. So it, 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 maybe he's pimping me out. I, I don't know, but you know. <laughs> well, the best kind of being pimped up is if you don't know it. <laughs> yeah. Things like shit. Here it is. I'm thinking I'm getting the best of the deal. He pimping me out, man. He got me on the track. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now, right? I got my AR. Now nah, you took your classes, right? You went to the classes, right? Because we're not we're not gonna put you out here on no humble shit, and you're gonna be up here trying to put all these gadgets and gadgets and bad levers and fucking. Yeah, I was looking at YouTube. Nah, nah. All right, so check this out, man. Come on, on a Saturday when you get some time. Come on in, hang out. We'll go down to the range and we'll we'll refine your product because you still got that free AR class that got your name on it. You but got I'm liking that. guns, man. I want to try this AK now. All right, but but check this out. Let's slow down. Let, let's get you. Let's get your bag up. Let's master these three tools we got right now, right? Because right. just like jitsu, I don't need to learn all these moves. I need three moves and know how to put them in a combination. With three solid moves, I got over a thousand combinations, right? Let's let's master the fundamentals and the building blocks. How are you in your pistol game? Matter of fact, let's go downstairs. Here's a box of rounds. We're gonna do some three inch circle dots. And the reason why I'm taking an interest in you, because I don't no. want you to fuck around. No, no, Joe, I used to like you. Now, now you selling me on now you selling me on your uh services and shit. I'm not selling um, you on anything. You're telling me your training services. Nah, yeah, I'm not yeah, yeah. that's upselling. That's what he's supposed to do. He's upselling me. Hey, bro, I don't do anything, man. Hey, <laughs> the choice is yours. You can hit the no. sheet. You can hit the streets. This okay. is our information. This is the streets thing. Yeah, you information. provided me information, <laughs> and it, uh, information has a cost, right? No, no, no. Why you, no, no. This is informational selling. He's selling you stuff that you will need, so that you realize that you do need to get it. It's not necessarily. So, a so, so, sir, this is what I'm trying to do, right? I'm not mm -hmm. trying to sell you anything because you can go on the internet, the interwebs and everything else, and you can see this stuff and learn it. What I don't want to happen is you go and you miss a very important piece of information that this individual is putting out, or you take information from a quote unquote reputable source and it's bad information. So what I'm trying to do is make you a better and safer gun oh. owner for all of us gun owners. Okay. Anything, that, Joe. Take it. What if I'm a different type of gun owner where I like, like, damn. Okay, this is a different scenario. This is a different scenario, right? Boom, I got that first pistol, right? We we rerun it all the way back. I got this first pistol, right? I like it, you know what I mean? I shot it, I like it. Then I'm stepping up. I, I like guns now. I didn't I didn't know any shit about guns. I like guns now. Now I want to get new guns that are nicer and I'm ready to spend a little bit of the bag. All right. So so is your finances improved? My, like, fin my finances has always been improved. I was fronting the whole time. I know, but I'm just asking like I'm, I'm just saying though. This is just no, I, I already know that. I was you, fronting the whole time. I Yo. Know that. This all gun right. shit is dope, man. I've been missing this shit all my life. You know? All I right, just so, so, want to get something nice. Sell me the what, fucking what, what are you trying to do, man? Um, I can get you in some a little bit higher end guns. I can get you in some more robust uh now, the higher end guns, guns you try to get me into, right? All right. Just limit on the bag, right? 
you already right. got me you got me this 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 decent ass pistol you know what i mean you got me uh a decent ass 1300 ar or whatever right that was, that was you, that got was me, five, man. That you got me in, you got me you got i'm decent as fuck right now right all right so this hey let's do this thing. here right what else i need for my starter kit to start building this shit up right, man. so let's do this right here right so you got uh you got your cleaning supplies and everything else. You got a boar snake, some lube, you, stuff like you that. You sold me that. You like sold that. me that. Cool. You, right, you cool. got me Gucci. I'm trying right, to build cool. it. So let's do this right here, man. Um, I'm, I'm going to send you some websites and everything else. I want you to look at uh, some classes or some competitions. And then here's some other YouTube sites to look at different guns. And tell me what piques your interest. And we could talk about the pros and the cons of all of them. But one thing I will say, CZ makes a hell of a gun. The Shadow 2 is based off the CZ-75. It's a hell of a gun. It's all metal. It's competition ready. Damn near about. It's all metal, and it's a beast. Okay, we're going to take a break, right? We got a lot of CZs in this house, right? Yeah. We got a lot of CZs in this house, right? I like you guns. <laughs> okay, so so you got your Jericho's. Um, IWI. Rifle. Yeah. Talking pistols that's or that's a little bit more event. I call him Ewe. <laughs> she called she called she called it Ewe. You know what I mean? She called it Ewe. I don't know why it's pronounced Ewe. <laughs> she called, it's called the fruit gun. It's not Ewe, not a kiwi. <laughs> she called it Ewe. I call them the Ewe guns. <laughs> and everybody don't like the Ewe guns. It has a uh uh she what we call them Ewe guns. I get it from her. <laughs> she called it Ewe. Yo, I got a stick. I got a stick on my truck. Yo, I'm a black redneck, right? <laughs> I'm a black redneck, but yo. Oh man! All right, hey, so you have an acquired taste. All right, so you got the Spadas, <laughs> you got the Jerichos. You you're talking about a pistol? I have an acquired taste. You know. All right, I mean? you about pistols or rifles? Because you got the default. Uh, everything. All right, so let's hey IWI man, and here's the full product. Now, because the reason why I'm bringing this up, Joe jo Bob, right? Because I'm not, you know what I mean? I'm not uh, 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 a shooter. I'm not, I'm not a shooter. You're kind of sore. I'm not even interested in, which is going to be next week's live. I'm not even interested in, you know, I like to see the shit, you know what I mean? My boy, you know what I mean? You, you know, my 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 main my main 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 dude kick up dust them dudes are serious with that shit i ain't that serious yeah but see so you have to you know what I mean? i'm to the point where i'm at a point where i love guns that shit bust i love that shit period you know what i mean i like the mechanical expectations of it you know what i mean i like to look this at it. Just, this is just rml yeah and I, and I, and, I, and Shooting them, shooting, shooting, just the blast is, is just is, is just fun to me. Yeah, because it was yeah. something that was, you know, how you say something that. What's up, Erica? Yeah, it's something Erica. that was taboo in the past. You know, being from New York, and the practical application of them, right? When I got into it, just being the backstory, I got into firearms probably when. All, all my life, I've always been around firearms. The backstory of it. All my life, I've always been around firearms, right? But they weren't exactly legal. So when I was able to grow and turn 21 and come back to the States and get a firearm, that legally, it was a big thing to me. You know what I mean? So this is this is real life story. So I bought firearms, you know, things that I was more familiar with. You know, uh first firearm, 21st birthday was uh a Glock 19. You know, purchased that, it moved up to you know, Glocks weren't popular in the 90s, as they are now. So it was like, oh yeah, get this. It went on to HK and, and something like that. But in the practical application later on in life, maybe 10 years down the line, I feel like you didn't. I felt I, I learned to a fact where 
that shit wasn't protecting you. You know what I mean? It was mainly your wits. Yeah. <clears throat> well, and no. I would say this right here, man. Having a gun and a gun isn't the, the end all to the be all. It ain't end all to be all. I see a gun. Um, as Sam Colt said, God, God made man, but Sam Colt, uh, no, yeah, Sam Colt made man equal. And that's that's what it is. It's that, it's that equalizer, right? Or potential equalizer to give that 120 or 85 times individual a equitable chance against three or four um, people or against a, a dude that's 270 pounds that just wants to do them harm. It's I, greater than, but not equal to. Yeah. It's yeah. greater than, but not less than. You know what I mean? So and, it's the yeah. equalizer. Yeah. And that's what two out for life yeah. is all about. Two out for life is all about is equality. If you even look at, you know, for everybody in the chat, if you even look at our our logo, it's a greater than symbol and a less than symbol. Crossed out. Crossed out. That means that, you know, this, this two out for life, it don't make you better. It don't make you... Uh, Less than, but it evens the odds. You know what I mean? That's 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 what that's what it's all about. Whatever you choose to use it for doesn't matter. Anyway, right? So it's like the back back to the backstory, right? I give up guns, right? Another incident happened ten years later. I get back into it, right? Uh, a hard body, but still, I'm looking at the practical application of it, right? Whether it's a tactical, practical application, a self-defense application, you know, or whatever the case may be, a lot of these processes I can eliminate, you know, because on every day, it's not really, I'm not worried about nobody rolling up on me because I don't put myself in those type of situations. To where I need it for self defense, and I know me personally, I got enough game to know what shit look like to move away. But as far as the guns, I I'm back in love with them, so I started getting other things. But the training thing is not my focus because I know, which is going to be next week's live. I know that regardless of the situation, I'm close enough that I'm gonna hit you. Regardless, of, I don't need to be the, the correct form and shoot something from 30, from no, 25 been, yards. Shooting something from far, that's murder. Yeah, and, and plus I know that shooting something from somebody from afar is, is fucking murder. Mm -hmm. I use three seconds, three yards. That's it. And possibly three people. Mm. You know what I mean? So... Because that's how goons, that's how goons travel. They usually travel in packs of threes. You know what I'm saying? Maybe twos, most of the time threes. You see what I'm saying? And it's going to be really goddamn close. You know? So I know that. And I know that if I had a fucking slingshot at three, at three, at three yards, I'm going to hit you. Regardless of the correct form. So I don't, I know a lot of people talk about training, training, training. Uh, but that's next week live. We ain't gonna get into that shit right now. You know what I mean? That's that's something I uh set up for next week. But I know at three yards in real application, three yards, that's nine feet. That's where most conflicts is gonna take place as a civilian. Military shit is a little bit different. And I noticed that a lot of uh, military are out training them, but yeah, they I'm only. Off topic, y'all. Yeah, I'm getting way, way off topic. What but anyway, I'm talking about my starter kit, right? I'm a gun enthusiast. I might be a collector, you know what I mean? I might be thinking about. I started. I got my gun, and I'm good at it. I became good at it. I might become a, a competition shooter, so that my next step may be up. So. Jova yeah, just showed me. Hold up. At, at this point, it really depends on what it. What, what's what's your, your purpose? What's your purpose and journey? Are you buying after guns, your first one? Are you buying guns just to look at them because you like the mechanical 
um, like me, like the mechanics of it, which are men like the mechanics of it because that's just his nature. He likes looking at things and tearing it apart and stuff and putting it back together. Or are you buying guns because you want to eventually become a, a marksman and you want to learn certain things in tactics? Are you so are you buying a gun because again, it's just purely for self defense purposes? Um, are you buying a gun because you just like shooting? So it really depends. Because you find that eventually, even if you start with, with, with a certain kind of number of guns, people paths become different. People take, somebody made a society, hey, actually, I would like, like putting a, a lot of my, certain amount of accessories on my guns. That's what I, I'm focusing on. Or I like just pistols, or I like just AR 15s, or whatever. So you find there's so many different aspects of gun ownership. It depends on what personal to you and whatever makes you happy in whatever direction that you personally want to take it. And that's, that's what you're there's no one, there's, there's no there's one. There's no one way. Right, there's no one right way. We all have our different paths that, uh, that we wish to take. Go ahead. You know. Hey, sir, one thing before you leave the store, since you said you like uh, Israeli guns, I just got a collection of IMI Israeli Uzis, both A models and B models, open bolts, 10 of them. What? Still in Cosmo Land. I want me a Uzi. I've been, I've been hunting. The Americans been singing about Uzis. Don't we have songs about I got, Uzi? I got, yeah. I got Woodstocks. I got, I got Woodstocks. Roll two Phillies together in the bridge we call the Uops. The Americans are songs. Like I said, pass me the Uop, kid. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, boy. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, that's what I'm saying. Cash rules. <laughs> Cash rules everything yeah, around. We love, we love, we, yo, I, yo, you know, for <laughs> real. Backstory, right? Backstory. <laughs> yeah, backstory. So these kids jumped me, right? And my uncles and, and my grandfather come over. He's like, they just, he's like, motherfucker, jump my, jump my boy. And they come over, right? This is back. I was a kid. I was a baby, 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 baby. So this shit was like maybe I'm trying to say 87, right? This is so real like, life story. So like 87, like, right? Yeah. I, I just got in high school and somebody lumped me up, you know what I mean? And I just I just come home. They lumped me up. I come, I ain't tell nobody, right? But my little homeboy I went to school with. He knew people in my family and he done told he told my he told kelly he told my cousin and my cousin told everybody motherfuckers fuck yo that night like a whole bunch of people was just like in front of the building it was september school had just started it was actually the second day of school school had just started and my grandfather and my uncles rolled up but the motherfucker they pull out who the fuck fucking with my damn boy? And they pull out the fucking Uzis and shit, right? <laughs> and that was the first time cats in, cats in my neighborhood seen shit like that, right? So everybody was like, oh, shit. So it was just a long-term joke. And Wayno will tell you to this day. It was like, the, the motherfuckers come up fucking with our mail, they bring out the Uzis and shit. <laughs> but... <laughs> That was the first time I ever seen it, you know. So I was like, so "Oh, just, shit. Just, even like before Miami, Vi before Miami Vice and all of that shit, you know, the, the popular TV. This is real life shit. This is this is so a, your grandfather came up. With my grandfather, and everybody. Yeah, so he was just like, who fuck? Up? And it was had nothing to do with nothing. It was just some like little <laughs> like a day of high school shit. Eighty, you know, eighty seven shit. Right, <laughs> you know, but they bought yeah, the Uzi. Man. Uh -huh. Get lumped up on the second day of school, make for a long ass school year, man. I've been doing this shit for years. Ain't shit changed, bro. I've been <laughs> arguing. You can't disagree. I've been disagreeable for years. You know what I mean? He born disagreeable. I'm I'm born disagreeable. So somebody <laughs> he was, was the one that said I talk too much in class. That's what. Yeah, saying. I talk too much in class. You know what I mean? And, <laughs> And I treated every, I, I treated certain people like you know how some people came to school. I never forget the dude. The dude was a uh, he was he was working on his golden gloves boxing. His, his name I ain't gonna give his damn full government, 
but his name was he his name was A. You know what I mean? He was Golden Glove kid. He just got into high school. He was in high school with me, but everybody knew him for just being a box. He was the next dude out of Brownsville behind Mike Tyson, but he was young. So everybody was like, Tyson, 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 Tyson. So I was just like, oh, boy. And even all the girls knew about him because he was in the gym and he was getting little sponsorships from the neighborhood because he was going to be a boxer. And he could play ball, too. So he was like an all-around athlete, right? And his second day of school, all the little shorties and everything was in there. I was, I was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was being the devil's advocate back in those days, right? But dude really boxed me the fuck up, right? He hit you up? He yeah. The crap out of you or no? He, he, he hit me up really good, right? He hit me up really, really, really good. He knocked you out. He knocked me out. But he hit me. I, I came home with the woolly lump lump. And went in the house, right? <laughs> I went in the house. <laughs> I went in the house. I went in the house, went to my room, and closed the door and locked it. I ain't let him <laughs> Can't even come out for dinner. I ain't come. I ain't. I wasn't hungry. You know? I'm going to fucking beat the appetite out of me. Damn right. Damn right, right? So I ain't want to go to school no more, bro. <laughs> Yo, know, I think I'm, yeah, I was like, uh, you know, I was like, I'm taking the day. What's wrong? My cousin already sent out the APD and, and, and told my mother, come out there. Who done did something to you? And I'm sitting up in the room like, like stupid. Like, I don't want to talk about it. Our going to run away and join the circus after that ass Yo, hey, been there, man. Been there. My, my mother done called my grandfather, my uncle. Yeah, some motherfucker beat up my boy and all of this shit. <laughs> and that's when the when the Uzis came out, you know, because it was rough times back then. That was the 80s. That was Brooklyn, New York. That was Best Star crack era. You feel me? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who the fuck did something to our mouth? Uh, they come out of the hole. Come downstairs. Bam, 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 bam. They ring the bell. Beep. We had like electronic bells. Beep, 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 beep. They bought the Uops. And I come downstairs and I seen that shit. That shit was crazy. It was mesmerizing. Because the only time we had video games back then. So the only thing you had was like Chuck Norris invasion USA and some Rambo shit. And you was like, wow. Shit looks sexy. What? And ever since then, the Jew guns killed me. <laughs> you know what I mean? But for real though, it, it was it was. No, I can always, I can I literally in my head. Because she know my family. No, wait a second. Literally <laughs> in my head, I'm hearing the soundtrack for that. You know, like I'm in the soundtrack. When, when I was I've been feeling <laughs> play that Miami coming in the edge of night. Oh I no! Hear the soundtrack. <laughs> Yep. I'm like a movie now with a bad, with a bad coloring. I'm, I'm like really seeing the soundtrack for that. Hey man, yeah. screen name Rico Tubbs. Yeah, what? yeah, yeah, yeah. Rico Tubbs had patois, Creole, and all the damn languages. But that gone. Yo, Rico Tubbs is telling, but yeah, yeah, man. But that that shit. So that's that's what that's what got me into uh, Israeli. Favoring wow. Israeli firearms. Yeah, but let me know, man. Like I said, I got the, the pistols, the micros, A yeah. and B, open bolts, and the rifles, and the collapsibles. I need, I need too much paperwork for them open bolts, bro. Nah, man. Open bolts is legal. They're just expensive, man. Yeah, you know? that's, they sound expensive, man. This is before they figured out that no, look, deal with open bolts. I can have moderate. I have a select amount of moderately expensive firearms because I got a very expensive daughter and a really expensive wife. Some people wives. Some people with some people wives buy pocketbooks and shoes, and they still complain. My wife buy fucking houses. Hey man, don't worry. About <laughs> it. I'll extend you credit. <laughs> Helping build a business credit for small businesses, yo. <laughs> so, I'm, yeah. I'm on that thing. I'm out to help. Yo, I knew when I got into it. I knew when I got into it. You know what I mean? But, yo, 
to start up, man, start off slow. Get that nine millimeter pistol. I wouldn't recommend anything less than a nine millimeter for your startup kit. Well, so so here, startup here's, kit. here's regardless here's, of what direction you go in, Joe. Yeah, but here's the uh, here's the science on that. So back in the day, they said three eighties was pretty anemic. We all know that the twenty two caliber is the most deadly caliber in the world. Bar if anybody else want to drop in? Y'all could drop in if you want. Um, right? No, but again, it, it all depends upon what the individual shooter can handle. Now with bullet technology, I can get some of the same performance from a 380 that I got from nine millimeters. Okay. So that's one of those things. But yeah, generally I would say nine millimeter um would be about kind of where you need to be at. With something with that much uh energy as a uh, standard 115 grain. Um, full metal jacket, nine millimeter. So you're talking like 380, 350 foot pounds of energy. Okay, I want to say something. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna sat here and drink three beers and then give me one. That's what. Where's my beer? Women don't have beers, beers, beers on front of camera. What? Who said that? See, man, what's up? See, man, what's up? Yo, turkey support, and that's what's up. See, you know what I mean? Let me tell you, let me tell you, right? I mess with some people on YouTube, you know what I mean? But there's I'm 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 just getting get just like super special shout out. I'm gonna put a hat on, man. Yeah, yeah, let me I'll give it like super special too. shout out. My boy has shown I don't care. I'm about to be 50 in like eight weeks. You think I give a fuck about a hair? Anyway, but anyway, I've been messing with a lot of cats on YouTube, right? A lot of cats, right? You know what I mean? And, and in my journey, this is this is this haven't even been. This is going on two years. It's been two years. Already. I'm starting from scratch. It's going on two years, hmm. right? Hmm. I'm starting from pretty much scratch, Happy right? Birthday, Happy birthday. birthday! And I'll be fifty this year. Hmm. So this is the crazy shit about this, right? Out of all the YouTube channels, right? That I've been on. I've never been received with so much love, with the exception of a few. One of those few channels, you know what I mean? I got to give much love, right, to those cats over there. King of Dust, Tag Life Jack, and Tactical Turkeys. Those my local dudes. Love those dudes. Shannon Ewan, Chris Stevenson, you know all the time it is, right? I'm gonna give a special thing. Motherfuckers, I mean, people show me love. Billy, my fly family. If you ain't subscribed to him, subscribe to him. Much Billy, my fly family. The dude show me so much love that I can't even mention. You know what I mean? Billy, my fly family. We're gonna holler at RGG. That like you gotta say what you wanna say. But the dude is a plug because he pulled all of this shit. He connected to the connection. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to give a shout out to Jay the Shooter. You know what I mean? He was, he, one of the first ones he, was the, he was one of the first ones that I connected to. Mm -hmm. That's that. He came to the house yeah. and showed love. You know what I'm saying? We had a Halloween party 2021. Yeah. Showed love. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Guy. And every time I see him, it's always like, what's up? You see what I'm saying? Whatever it is, those channels. Go we'll support them. I'm going to support to the absolute end. And I'll advise you that these is real people and they're not just have whether, however you feel about their channels or their content, they're genuinely good people. And that's a shameless plug. Anyway, but anyway, holla at me. <laughs> holla at me, RML. You know, RML 771 is two alpha life. And two alpha life really, really, really is. It's about being alphas, stepping up and being leaders at oh, a pack. So this is, this, <laughs> um, because, okay, initially when, when Arma was thinking of the name, right? He's an alpha, but kind of so am I, right? So we both have our different views about different things. 
And sometimes we are submissive to each other in terms of letting the other lead. And, and, and it's sometimes it's, it's about supporting each other, right? When one person is the one at the forefront, you kind of step back and let them lead and vice versa and be supportive of that. You know what I mean? I say, and so it's, and also he had the meaning of the 12th of being that it's about we're equals, none is greater less than the other. And that's what's important that we're both equals. And what? Yeah, exactly. The whole the whole thing is right. The whole the whole two alpha life thing is. I'm, I run things. We run things. We're Patrick I react. We run things. Things don't run we. We run things. Things don't run we. You know what I mean? You're drunk. I ain't drunk. <laughs> Yo, we run things. <laughs> that C man, my man. That's that's my, that's, my, that's I, an Eskimo actually, right there. That is a very very fair assessment because our male usually after two three beers well so yeah he's not quite drunk but he's kind of feeling nice yeah i'm always nice though mm -hmm. but for real we run things things don't run we start your gun collection explore man and don't limit yourself to the dope to the dope no it's, it's like you know what it is you have to find what works for you and not being ashamed of or allowing but to make you feel ashamed or or or, or and or, keep an open mind yeah, for real whatever for you man keep an open mind for for real for real keep an open mind don't just this shit is not the bible you know what i mean well, oh, we have someone new J J hunter. yeah that's that's my man from canada that's that's jay hunter is from canada you jamaican dude from canada big oh, up is that a yeah me? yeah yo big up man Yo, you have a really thick accent, y'all, Kyle, but I completely appreciate it. Sometimes you don't hear that. Yeah, thing, you need that accent. Yeah, yeah, that's my yeah. man, Jay Hunt. Jay Hunter. Uh, we be watching you sometimes, Hunter. Yeah, we so. be watching. I, I feel sorry for you up in Canada, but yeah, that shit look cold, man. I feel sorry for my man, Jason Ewing, too. And that Jason shit look cold. Sherry, yeah, that shit look cold. Yeah, Canada. I've been, I've been like feeling the cold through the through, through the channel, y'all. Man, that shit look cold. But, yeah, we we've been riding the thing, but Jova. What's up? We got to do this role playing thing again. Yeah, that shit was hey, cool. Oh, <laughs> yo, yo, are you guys doing? Hey, yo, 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 is that how you're going to end the show with a role playing? We're going to role yo, play. Yo, what are we going to role play this time, man? Hey, figure it out, man. Yo, let me know what you want to do. Yo, we're going to role play, yo. Joe Vop. Joe but you Vop. can't be so broke this time, though. Yeah, I wasn't broke. I was fronting. <laughs> I was fronting. I was fronting. I was seeing what I was seeing what how much he was able to give away for less. Hey Chris. Hey Chris, what's good, boy? Yo, Chris. You, you ain't miss a lot, yo. No. Yo, yo, yo you miss me and Joe Bob role playing, man. That's role playing. That shit was hilarious. Yo, we we was damn near in the two. We was in hey, a I was day. <laughs> dragon. Yo, <laughs> yo, <laughs> Jason. A role play was dope. And I thought it was the two men playing. <laughs> Shit, yo, that, yo, that shit was dope, Joe. Yeah, that was cool. See, sometimes impromptu shit is the best, man. Yeah, yo, yo, that was that was all that organic, was, yo. That was organically impromptu. Joe, that you know that shit was organic? Yeah, man, I mean. And you were selling me training and all. I don't want that shit. I want guns, guns, guns. I need more guns. He's a train. He's a train. I need, I need more guns. I need C man guns. I, 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 I ain't got the plug like C man got. Uh, I need C man guns, bro. I, I, I need C man, man plug, man. Next week, next week, man. Next I want Knights Armament, man. Yo, fuck that. You selling me a fifteen hundred? I heard about Knights Armament. I want that C man shit. Oh, fuck that, no, man. no, the night goggles. Let's blow the bag. Night goggles shit. Night goggles. Talk to me, man. Hey, get you your what, way. Night vision. You hear uh, Cassian? Cassian talk about night vision and shit. Hey, no, I, want night, I want a night vision shit. Hey, I got you. You want to see them coyotes in the back Didn't of the house? Didn't I tell you in the beginning of the live? She want, want to see the coyotes in the back of the house. We need knives. I not. want to see them in the dark. I want, I want, to see, I want, some, coyote, I want some night vision shit. Hey, next week. Night hey, next week we can do night vision. I got you. No, we not doing night vision. Yeah, I want night vision. <laughs> hey, bro, I, got, I got ground panoramic night vision. Quad knives. Thermals. What? What? Back to full 100K. Ooh, that's sexy. Yo. Yo, my life ain't extending that far yet. 
I'm getting there, but I not want, that yet. Man, be my guest. I want a three thousand dollars for that night vision. <laughs> so she's gonna put her night vision on her. I tell you, the gun taste is crazy expensive. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I want to see. I want to. I want to. We see. weren't in the gun store five minutes before we were dag on three thousand dollar gun with unattainable ammunition. That's nice. I want that. Oh, I got taste. Got it. Got to get. get. Yeah. Then this one in here, hey, here was, walks in the store. Zay Zay walks in the store and she doesn't. What kind of seven year old grabs the first pair of shoes that she puts on are seven hundred dollars? Damn, we, we can't do this. You know these these ladies have expensive taste. So, but anyway, yo, I didn't realize we were on here for almost two hours. Shoving uh -huh. handle for some shoes. Oh, that she picked out. That not her. No, I'm the talking other little lady. Zay Zay. Zay Zay. Yes. Man, tell her I'm an adult. And all the shoes I brought for myself throughout my adulthood ain't cost me no seven hundred dollars. Fine, see, man, to tell you. Matter of fact, I gotta get some shoes. <laughs> oh yeah. 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 We you went. Got to take them off. Yeah. I'm not gonna say that I haven't done that, but we're moving on to other things. And yo, it's been great. We only mean to be on live like an hour, but this was too fun. And thank you guys for uh so no supporting. so no so we're not finishing up with no role play. What are we gonna role play do? Night vision. Yo, tell me about this night vision, yo. This right, shit this is right here. talking about this. Yeah, get me I some night, night vision. vision. I get your basic night vision price. 15 Hondo all the way up to hundred K. What do you so, want? You wanna be like I, mean, nah, I ain't got a, I ain't oh, got a RV money. I ain't got a, I ain't got I ain't got a hundred K. But what this Check is what I mean, man. man. Come down to the what shop. I I'm gonna show no. you what things do. Look, You're gonna look, be like, look. I've been doing my research because I ain't new to the game. You know what I mean? Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna do do you do before you sell me something. Hey, I'm gonna do, do man. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you some literature to go ahead and review, and you can see both ends of the spectrum what 1500 to get you and what 100k to get you in the civilian market. I'm talking like damn the ability. With flare, you know, for looking in for red, you can see through walls, see heat signatures and shit like that. You'd be like, everyone talking about Delta Force and SEAL Team Six. I'm talking CIA shit, man. Okay, it let me tell you this. Let me I tell you this. Before we go anything too far, before we say, like, yo, like I said, we run things, things don't run weak. Before we go too far, right? Listen to me. Before we go too far, right? I'm gonna tell you this. I got, a, I got a budget. My budget is seven thousand, right? Plus or minus two hundred dollars. I can get you hooked up for seven k, man. Two hundred ninety-two thousand. Seven thousand dollars plus or minus two hundred dollars. Hey, right? hey, I need to get a solid set, right? Hey, yeah. Solid <laughs> helmet, solid mount, all my aiming capabilities up the par, right? And I don't want no Gen two or Gen less than Gen three plus. Nah, you know so here's the deal, man. You know what I'm I saying? White phosphor tubes, right? You want yeah, binos? I don't want nothing green and shady. You know, and you, I you don't want, want any pills? spots in my lenses either. All right, you know, aviation cool. quality. All right, so just hear me out, man. <laughs> I get you some. Uh, you want binos or monos? Yeah, I can do. I'm not doing any driving because I'm using the sole purpose of no, no, no so observation, so binos, binos, observation, want, and light movement. You want you want one tube or you want two tubes? Understood. It's going to be have to if we can do a mono, but if you could throw a bono in there for that budget, we can All do right. it. But so you also <laughs> got to throw in. <laughs> I, yo, Jova, I've been around dude knowledge too long. So, All right. I, I've been absorbed. I've been educated. Hey. <laughs> this, is, this is my part time job. This is this is what I like, actually do in real life. And I'm blind and I can't see. So, it got to be right. able to not reflect off my glasses. Too easy, man. I can get you some auto gates. You get me your prescription. We can uh, get some prescription sacrificial lenses to go in there, right? We'll get we'll get auto gates, auto gate technology. So if someone turns on the light, it doesn't blind you. All right, we'll get you a battery pack. I'll get you a ballistic uh, FTHS helmet, right? Um, family tactical helmet shells. 
generally made by Ops Core. So we'll do that. I, I'll have to get a helmet size on you, so we'll get you fitted up. We'll get you the Ocu dial. How many helmet are you thinking about? Huh? No, I'm going to get you. A I've been checking out those Ops Core. Yeah, it's just Ops fire, man. Yeah, Tell me about Ops those. Yeah, I'm gonna get can I get it in my budget? Like I said, I got seven thousand dollars plus my two hundred dollars. Listen to me, man. I'm gonna get you a package for seven k, and you give me the, the the approval. I'll give you the specs on it and everything else. Right I now, I want that Fugazi, bro. Nah, listen. I want yeah. Wilcox mounts. I want no. that shit. Listen, listen. Your helmet's gonna be an Ops Core current issue with a Wilcox mount, articulated arm, everything else. Going to get you the binos, uh, Gen three. White phosphor, auto gate technology, gonna get you a battery pack on your helmet, helmet cover, and everything else. Now I gotta talk to my man because we might be able to do something and get you some Castle Mount Ear Pro um, made by Ops Core or either uh, L3 Harris. I see which ones I got in stock. But either way, gonna give you the ability to see and to talk, all right? And then okay. for bullshit, what about, the other side? what about the other side, bro? Well, what about my weapons capabilities. So, yeah, so I'm gonna I get outside. Up, up, you know what I mean? Because I got an EOTech. All right, so, 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 so right now, EOTech, does your EOTech have... I need an aiming device. All right, you know so, I mean? all right, so for 7K... I need a D-ball. Huh? I got 7K. I need to throw all this shit in. Right, I listen. need to be up. My weapons need to be up, and we need to be all the way night capable. All right, bro, so here's the deal right here, man. We can do this one in two ways. You can throw me another 3K. I can get you an ingall, all right? Talking about... 10 to 12 nah, based on like I, said, I got 7k for 7k this is all you're gonna get hey for 7k this is all you're gonna get you ain't gonna get no better you need to cut about back. what you need to cut back huh what you need Listen, to cut back for 7k I will get you L3 you all of that shit on my head ain't doing nothing for me if I can't put if I can't use the gun properly you use the gun you got an EOTech, right? EOTech got night vision capability on it, right? I don't want to be aiming it with all of this shit on my head. Then I got to throw. Are you throwing in a got? Are you throwing in the dag on Arasak amount? You should already have that, man. That's not my problem. Nah, I need. I, I ain't need it because I ain't had night vision. All right, cool. I tell you what. I was doing it for the flex. Now right. I got night vision. I should need to be upgraded. All right, cool. Check this out. <laughs> Come by and see me next week. I'm gonna show you what I got. What I can get you into for 10k. For 7K and for above, then I'm gonna let you do your due your due diligence so you can see how much these L3 Harris tubes actually cost. The people that's putting them together, I'm giving you a five year warranty for services, right? Five years. Five years for Is services. Is that covering my tubes? It's covering your tubes. All right. right. Sound good. Use will figure something out. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna let you go do your due diligence, do some research, some other places, and tell me what you'll get. For uh 7k, give me some specs. Give me send me a spec sheet. But for right. real, on the other side, right? We're about to end this live because my daughter is bugging right now. This is but for, for real, love, you could do that. Yeah, yeah. I, I can I can just real spec. life, real life, real life. No role play. I, I, well, let's talk let's talk about that shit in the back chat. <laughs> yeah, because that because you kicking that bullshit game. I was like, he playing. <laughs> oh, fuck. oh, we role playing. <laughs> Huh? We was role playing. <laughs> oh shit! I thought you were serious. Man. Shit. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, but Cass want that shit. I don't care. I shoot in the dark. I'm blind anyway. Hey, Chris Stevenson, man. Team Wendy's okay, but a lot of stuff's not ballistic. Go with Opscore. That's made by Gentex. That's what the boys use. Um, it's gonna set you back about. Government price on those, what we charge the guys is a thousand to eleven hundred dollars, just depending upon the generation and whether it's the Ranger or it's the fast bump or the uh, future salt shell technology one. From so, the research I've done, I don't know shit about this other than the information that I've been researching and, yeah. and, and from people that have been told. But for a night vision startup kit, which may be a future live, because I don't have that shit myself. When I experience, when I get it, then I could talk about it. But yeah, I mean, but, uh, like, seriously, I deal, I deal with helmets, body armor, and shit like that all day, every day. Yeah, but uh, a startup kit for night vision, I don't think anything wrong with Team Wendy, and I played with it a little bit. But just there's to start, nothing, it, there's nothing wrong. I wouldn't jump into no ops core, no yeah. heavy metal shit till so, I got damn, <laughs> till I'm, I'm committed. 
So so here's the deal right here, and this is what I caution a lot of people on. They'll go out and get bump helmets, fast helmets, whatever you want to call them, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes they're not getting ballistic helmets. And it's great because it looks the same. It's a lot lighter than everything else until you get shot in the noodle. How many people are going to get shot in the noodle? Well, you never know, man. I mean. And most of the time you're going to get shot in the noodle is really a short distance between the noodle and the face. Yeah. <laughs> so. And we also got ballistic shields, too. We also got ballistic face masks. But here, here's what I'm yeah, saying. America. Yeah, but here, here's here's what I'm saying, Armel. Mm -hmm. I got the helmet on, and it's not just from getting shot in the noodle. It's if you're in an overhead environment, shit starts falling and everything else, right? And I know what you're going to say. Well, how many people are going to be in that environment? Great fucking point. Mm -hmm. If you're not going to be in an environment, why get the stuff in the first place? Because the shit is dope. Exactly. So if you're going to, hey, so if you're going to get dope, you go to the source. You go, you go to the Golden Triangle with Kang Shai Shek, people. You got to get that Frank Lucas. <laughs> the shit All is right? dope. You get the shit just to have the shit. Yo, for real, for real. And it's a good thing before we end. It's like, how much we got? Yo, it's a good thing we live in America where we don't really need shit. We just want shit and can have shit. Thank God. <laughs> we don't really need none of this shit, but we can have it. So why not? Why not get it? You know what I mean? I ain't there yet. I ain't at, at night vision yet. I've been, I've so been. Cold. Oh, tactical tech is going on. What, what up? What up? Uh, we wait, we wait two seconds. Yo, they, they're going to come on, man. We slowing up they live. They supposed to come on, man. I'm sorry about that, brothers. But I just got out of control. You know, I can't stop. Yeah. You know, I can't stop once I keep going. Man, I really just want someone else to argue with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just I, I, I don't need nothing. No, he's argument. saying just coming on the live. He's coming on to our live, or we should go on to. I don't know. Dust okay. is coming on the live. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, he's going on his live. Well, we're coming on. You I mean he's having his live? Yeah, Dust so is on. So we need now. to. We need. To no, no, I think I think Dust is is coming on to your live. Get oh. the fuck out of here. Yeah, drop the link, man. Drop the link, Cassie. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, I'm confused. Sorry. Yeah, see right there. That's no, what, she, she read it. She 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 read it. In oh no, I'm coming on. I'm not read it in What the fuck is that? <laughs> I don't know. You got to do this. No, I think I already did it though. Face. Yo, we be having technical difficulties like a mug. I tell you that we're like the fucking Muppet Show, yo. Yo, we like the we like the Muppet Show on YouTube, bro. <laughs> hey, at least nothing. Yo, are we on? Are I'm coming, D Frog. That's Miss Piggy right there. Are we on? <laughs> are we on? We <laughs> like, is anybody there? <laughs> hey, Christine, yeah. Kevlar is good, man, but Kevlar will get pierced. Oh, hurry up! Five, four, yeah. five. 39 the whole purposes will go through a if you if you if you if you work real hard you won't get hit mm -hmm. that's plan d yo mm -hmm. yo that body armor shit that helmet shit is plan b is that shit like the plan b pill well hey, the, guy, the whole purpose is not to get caught the fuck up well mm -hmm. hey so about 2014 <laughs> there's a guy named uh star first class peterson he took around to the noodle and his helmet saved them and everything else and shit. Mm -hmm. So he did the studies on it and all the good stuff. I mean the brain? Yeah, yeah, to the head. And then um, I know uh actually, god damn, I gotta stop hanging out with some of these people. So I know like three people that got like shot in the head and they lived. Like they got lucky, man. One dude, um, it's my old first sergeant. He, he got shot and a bullet went up under his helmet and it went around his head. So he got like a line, he got like a permanent crease right here. Going around his head. Yeah. I know this dude named Booty Head, right? He came, we came from deployment, right? He, his old lady was fucking around. Hey, on that, Christine. He shot himself in the head, man, and didn't even kill his goddamn self. Blue shot gun. <laughs> Yo, they said he was in the hospital. They come back to the boat, right? <laughs> Motherfucker had a split. They had to split his head to fit the shit. So his head looked like an ass crack. <laughs> So, so everybody, everybody on the boat call that motherfucking booty head, right? Yeah, they call that the motherfucking booty head. Cause he tried to kill himself over the motherfucking booty, and now he look, now he look like a booty. That's <laughs> wrong on so many levels, though. Yeah, but uh, I gotta I gotta
Oh, that's I'm drinking all them beers, man. You ain't giving none. I think he finished what was left, too. Yeah, man. I mean, it's, it's just, it, it's it's really, you know, it's just really weird. Like when you start looking at ballistics and terminal ballistics and everything else, this is mm -hmm. like, you know, some people get dropped with a 22 and then some people take. Listen, uh, I freaking my, shot my father's mistress. <laughs> yeah. My father's mistress. Um, yeah. She was she involved in politics and stuff. And she's actually about two attempts at her life, I believe. Time. But I remember one of them, she was shot in the head and she lived. Yeah. Um, so that was, that was, that was crazy that, you know, I was like, damn, she's resilient, you know, and she came back fully too. Nothing wrong with her. Yeah. And, and it's nothing it's, it's mm -hmm. weird because like, if you start looking at, um, uh, wound ballistics and the studies and everything else, um, and, like some of these, uh, gunshot, Booty head. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, guys? What's up, Dust? What's going on, bro? I was laid out. To the show. <laughs> bro, I'm glad. I'm glad I can make it. I was. I was laying down. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, you know, I got a phone call, and it was like, "Get your ass on our mails live." And I was like, "He's live right now." And they're like, "Yeah." And I'm like, "All right." <laughs> like, yeah, I was waiting for y'all to go live, man. I was like, "Yo, I'm cutting into these." I'm cutting these two sides. Oh, no, you good, bro? It's Saturday, dog. Like it's it's open game. You 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 good? Yeah, yeah. we can. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are having fun. That's 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 good. You guys yeah. are my booty head and fucking. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about you know, we talk about ballistic body armor for knots. I mean, uh, you know the ballistic helmet, and it get to it's don't so get good. hit. Good. <laughs> That's that's always the main goal, but yeah, yeah, it's don't get hit, and the head is not far from the face, and it's the same. Yo, and then it was booty head, man. And then booty head, yo, that's. Booty head, booty, booty head, baby mom was giving up the booty, and he get mad, and now he look like a booty. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> Yo, booty, booty head. <laughs> Yo, booty head shot himself with the motherfucker with the shotgun all up in the shit, but he ain't die. He lived. He lived. So they took all that shit out and reconstructed him, but he got a split through his face. He got a zipper on his fucking arm. He got a split through his face. It looked like an ass crack. So when he come back to the command, when he come back to the command, his head looked like a booty. It looked like a booty cheeks. Wow. <laughs> he, he ain't dead, no brain damage, no none of that shit. <laughs> he just got like a booty head the rest of his fucking life. <laughs> Yo, that's what cats that's what cats on the boat call the booty head. Is he still around? Yeah, he's still around. He on my Facebook. That <laughs> motherfucker funny as fuck. Not no more. Huh? Stay on your Facebook no more, man. That's an hour. Can you talk about booty head? Nah, he ain't. He don't, he 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 don't care about that. Be like, fuck our man. He had a real dude. <laughs> booty had a real dude. You know what I mean? He don't care about that shit. It was, it was, it was life decision. You know what I mean? He made a bad decision at a really young age. Yeah, it is what it is, bro. That's that's how a lot of shit goes. Yeah, so he good with it, bro. That motherfucker old as fuck now. But it's like an age in your age. No, he's younger than me. He's so, working. So he's me. old. <laughs> <laughs> he said that motherfucker old as fuck. Now she's like, is he your age? She's like, nah, he's younger. Nah, he, he used to work. He used to work for me. You know what I mean? Well, if he's old, but well, how you gonna call him old if he's younger than you? <laughs> Yo, the crazy shit about the military, right? You be in the military, you be like the CEO, the old man. You, I, you be like 20, right? 21. The CEO or the old man. This motherfucker commander, right? But he only like 30-something. Yeah, well, like 36. But he the old man. How the fuck is he the old man? That's how the, the separation of age, when you in your 20s, everybody's 
everybody like 30 something is old. old as fuck. Yeah, because they got four more years and they're retired out. Nah, I don't think it worked like think that. that. What do you mean? Man. You put in your 20s no. and you're done. I'm damn near older than I'm older than my old CEO was when I was 21. That now, mean, that mean and I don't feel like I'm old that like that. I mean, you're old, old man. But I'm an old, old you man. You just called the dude old and you say he's younger than you. He is old. He 40 something. He 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 old as hell now. But you're to older know. too. He was probably like 20 something years old when that shit happened. Like 21 or something. Like that. Yeah, the whole life. So, yeah. For real though, tw- 20 something is far. I'm glad that shit going. That's just, <laughs> so- <laughs> That's just so far away. I'm glad that shit going, bro. That's that's I, actually, we were just talking. To our we were, talking we were just about talking that. about that. We're like, I remember between your thirties, twenties, thirties, and forties. What do you think is your best year? And what did you say? Your best year. Forties. Forties is the fucking best. So that means yeah. you have your best years ahead of you. <laughs> the forties is the best. Let me tell you the reason why. Let me justify this shit, right? The forties is the best, right? The 20s is hard because it's all about struggle and positioning yourself in the world. Self-identity, you know what I mean? You may know who you are, but you got to figure out how who you are fit in the world. The 30s is about establishing yourself rather in corporate America or whatever uh, financial structure you in, right? 40, you set. Whatever you needed to do has been done already. All you're doing is fading out and putting shit into place. You see what I'm saying? So you're saying 50, this, cool. 50, right. this point round? Yeah. This is the down slope. I'm rolling the fuck out of here. I was trying. Yo, I had planned on just shutting the shop down at 50, but then Zadie came around like like eight, seven, eight years ago. And then we had seven, to. Eight, she's so. seven, but. You know, yeah. how, you know how the uh, paternal cycle go. Yeah, uh, was yo, I was literally at fifty. I was I was set up for shutting the shit down. We got a baby to raise. But now, baby. you know, Zadie came along. I was like, now we got to throw a couple of more years on that. For for real, for real. But 40, 40 is like the best because you got all the smart. You sharper than you ever fucking been. Still ache, it ache more though, though. It aches. It does, that shit didn't start to to like 40, 48, 49. I tell you, how old are you? Theory as to why he's no, no. I, mean, I had the strength of 10 men. Listen, I have a, I have a <laughs> what I swear. What's so funny, Dust? Yo, because you know, bro, because you cracked me up in Jovan's face. He looks so I had to train the ten men. Jovan, tell like, him, tell him, Cassia. No, I'm gonna about to. I'm about to give you a theory on that. Go I ahead, tell you. Go ahead. All the things I know, Arma, 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 been saying that once he's fifty, that's it. He's done. Whatever he's, whatever he's. That's how he's been thinking. But I think that because he tells his body so many times that once he's fifty, it's all gonna be done. So that ten his years body ago, how starts my to body? shut down. Two a, a year ago, your body started shut down because you've been telling the shit that you're gonna shut down at fifty. Your mind is so. How was I at thing. forty? Ten years ago, you're strong as fuck. Because I'm, I'm telling you. No, I remember. I just met Armel. We were both in our thirties. We were moving some furniture in my mom's apartment. Armel by himself pushed this big ass heavy couch out the door, and my mom was like. Him skinny, but him strong no, him, him, strong in the ross. Him, him strong in the ross. <laughs> like, I mean, you know, Armin is like this skinny, but he was strong as shit. Strong, 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 man. Strong. I'm going to start calling you Ant-Man. Yes! Yeah. It was strong. <laughs> yeah, Armin, Ant-Man. Put, now, we're moving furniture into the lake house. Him putting the freaking, um, something upon him, Ed. The entire coach put him at I walked down the freaking stair, um at the stairs, the steep slope. I'm like, what are you doing? That's just crazy. Yeah, for real, for real, for real, for real. Weight is mechanics, right? And a lot of people try to do things with brute force, but and that's a whole nother lot. A lot of it is finesse and thinking. You know what I'm saying? So oh, what seemed like the weight, you gotta allow the weight 
to, to your advantage. Well, it's, it's 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 your physiology, and then no, it's no, French Bellani, that was a fucking internet shit. Huh? In the fridge, the fridge fell out. Remember the fridge? Oh, the refrigerator like, fell oh on me too. Oh my god! Well, the refrigerator is awkward and stupid, but that was in 2021. But that you wasn't you wasn't Ant Man then. You was like, damn, I nah, forgot. What happened was it was I forgot it was, to recharge the batteries in the room. Yeah, we're moving this heavy fridge into a something we just renovated, and we're putting the stage in it and stuff, and putting this stuff in. And and it was moving the fridge from the strip from the trailer into the back of the house up the stairs or something. Mm-hmm. And then it was a bit of a steep slope. I the stairs like weren't that, installed yeah. properly. Like the stairs, the stairs have to was be at a stairs? certain pitch. No, because it was just, it was going up the slope that was slightly. Was, um, you were going up the slope it was slightly. And it was on the floor with the fridge on him. It said, "I know." I wasn't on the floor. floor. I figured it out. The fridge is laying on him. Yeah, he did. Stairs. Because we're moving it. Yeah, he said the stairs. Was it you? You and David, yeah, but it fell kind of on him. I don't know, but anyway, I just think that because in telling body that that's when body start doing what it's doing. Don't feel no, she you want me to be forever young, and I'm I not. Mean, I just think you tell your body that your body doesn't. So your body is going she to believes in mind you. over matter. I personally don't. I believe in that to a certain extent because you're still young, dust. <laughs> that shit only that should only work up to a certain point. Uh, I could yo for real for real. I got, you know, he get up in the morning, he's like, ah, oh, this shit's real. Ain't no mind doing nah, matter. My back nah, for real for real. I still have the shrimp. I still have the agility, but I don't have the healing capacity. So the old it takes the, longer the recovery. It takes longer to recover, and I don't feel like shutting myself down for that amount of time. So I don't even take the chance. Nah, Armel, you move around good. I I see the way you move around, bro. You you like you walk like, fast. I, like, yo, you walk and, fast. And, you, and I'm a rubber band. I got all the you know, walks fast. Well, Armel, Armel is a pacer, so he talks on the phone and he walks fast. You know? I got plates, rubber bands, plastic, all this shit, and I'm still, I'm still good. Uh, I'm still good. But I slow down, though. Live. I slow down, though. How are you guys' night going? How's everybody's night going? Joe Pye, how are you feeling? Guys, I'm doing good, good, man. Just trying to do a little bit of work and keep up with this right here. I'm trying to look at uh, some uh, night vision stuff for our mail and some helmets and shit, so. Yeah. I got to, I got I got to, got to, you know, that shit crazy, though. I can't, I can't, you know. I, I was listening to what you, what guys were saying about the, the helmets and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I have a bullshit bump helmet. Like I have a bullshit non-ballistic bump helmet. You know, mm-hmm. um, is it good? Not really. Does it work? Yeah. My thing is, is like, yo, if you're gonna spend a bunch of bread, like a lot, a lot of money. You might as well get a ballistic helmet. I said you- save on a helmet and get the dad going aiming device. That's aiming. my thing. But we didn't get into that that deep yet. But that's a whole nother lot. I said save on the helmet for real. I don't even think you should have a ballistic helmet. Oof. <laughs> okay. There's always a motherfucker that's anywhere Unless from. Unless you planning on getting into the combat. 300, y'all, 300, 400, and beyond. That's potentially watching you, dog. I, yo, fuck that. This is just RML opinion, and motherfuckers ain't special forces. 90% of y'all bitches ain't special forces. <laughs> yo, yo, 90%, this is what I'm saying. Right, so this is 90%, what I'm saying. Yo, literally out of people. Boom, look, and it look, started. <laughs> yo, bro, you are 100% right. And I agree with you. I, and I, y'all I, ain't going to be marauders. I guarantee you, if I wanted to touch you at 700 yards, I'm touching you. That's what you I got to say. You need vision to do it. No. I, I, I don't. I can do it during the day. So I, did you need a helmet to do it? No. So what the fuck you need to do it? You need a rifle and a you good need night vision then? Night vision wouldn't even be a help. So you're going to walk around like this? <laughs> you're going to walk around like That's this? You keep saying. your hands free. So if you get into the night vision game, this is Armel. You don't got to own it. I know, Armel. I know what the fuck I was getting myself into coming on to this. Instead of putting money on it does. Your, your helmet. Yeah. 
Put the money on your aiming device, on that because fucking aiming broke. device, on your rifle, on your weapon system. Not of on course. a fucking. That helmet. should be set up before you even get a fucking. Before no. you get a a, a, a a NVGs or a helmet, your rifle should. I'm be talking set about up. But my setup includes a budget. So I got a list of everything I'm getting. Now we're back I'm to this bullshit. Change. You're doing I this for your life, Romeo? I know you. I know the real you. <laughs> <laughs> now you're back to this bullshit, the budget bullshit? Budget, man. It's the budget. What are you talking about? Uh-oh. Right. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, but he said he's not the real you. What are you talking about? No, I'm <laughs> saying, what I'm saying is that Armel, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Because I see how you took it. I'm not saying... I know a different side of Armel that you don't know. What okay. I'm saying is, I know Armel appreciates higher end things. I do, and he yeah. understands. Why I said you can get the better it. helmet later, but I will actually work on an aiming device and your mounting system. All right, hey Armel, check this out. I can get you a ballistic helmet, three hole, uh, can cart. Uh, has a night vision mount, Wilcox mount, and everything else on it. Well, it has a night vision mount on it. Doesn't have the Wilcox arm. Seven hundred fifty bucks, right? Mm -hmm. And then the older ones, we're getting away from those. I can get you. Uh, what else? What is my other helmets going for? I can get you uh dual brown pelters, thirteen hondo. <laughs> Those those are dual drop down leads, man. Uh, brand new out the box, got a warranty on them. Those are Contact Threes. I got the uh, Pelter Dual Browns seven sixty three. We're phasing those out. You don't want them. I mean, they're all right. How my budget looking? Well, you gonna bust? I mean, like to get a. I can't bust. Well. Your light looking kind of dim, man. He's dried okay. out. He's dried out. Those I, years I, are over. Uh, <laughs> I, can out. Out. I, can I can get you a helmet for thirteen Honda. I can't bust. So I got a I got an Ops Core three hole Ranger khaki. Uh, Ops Core fast. See now you talking that Ops Core shit. Now I got yo forty one. Move that and and upgrade something else. It's ten forty one. On the yeah, I gotta get I gotta get that bullshit hard headed veteran shit. You don't want that, man. I, I don't want it right now. I'll get the ops score later, but I need my setup complete right now. Bro, startup uh, kit. Hey man. Yo, I a startup kit is not your permanent kit, bro. I know nothing's your permanent kit. Because guess what? You gotta always stuff, upgrade. All the stuff that we're doing but now. Get me started. I don't need the ballistics. I don't need the ops score. All the stuff that we're doing now, we're gonna right. I'm gonna get the ops core later. Don't get it fucked up. But I would rather put that money for the ops core somewhere else to upgrade something else. You know what I mean? I got you, man. I got you. Well, so let me let's let me, scratch that. Let, let me, me look get the uh, let me look at some numbers. The team Wendy, make it a team Wendy, and I'm gonna save that money and I'm gonna get me a, a, a D ball. Oh, more. Hey. Well, what night vision setup? Dust. Tell him to buy the one. Same buy setup one. that he got. It's buy they, one. They, buy they, one. Uh, they do. If buy you one. got it, you know. If you got it, buy one's problems. Huh? If you got, because it ain't gonna be a thousand dollar difference on a setup. It's gonna be. Uh, it's not a thousand dollar difference. It's a matter of where do I spend my money? You know what I'm saying? Am I gonna spend the money right? On Plates. the helmet, right? Or am I going to spend the money on my aiming device for my weapon? On upgrading Plates. my aiming device for my weapon. Well, but see, hey, 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 Armel. So here's the money is here. spent. No, regardless, the money is spent. Hey, but where do I spend it? Armel, here's the deal right here. If you get a lamb or you get a uh Ingol, right? Say we can get you one of those. It doesn't make sense to have that because you don't have the night vision capability to exploit. The capabilities of your lamb. I'm getting a night vision capability. I'm getting that right, lamb. But, but but hey, here's the deal right here. You're not going to get a good setup for a 7K and under if you want an Ingol and you want some decent MVGs. It's it's not going to happen, bro. I, I can't. So where can I cut? Huh? Where can I cut? Uh, 
Hold I off on the end I need to slim this up. Hold off on the end goal. Get the MVGs in the helmet. Get the end goal next. No. All right. Well. Well, don't wait. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Don't have an IR that you can't use. Ding, no. Ding, I'm ding, gonna ding, get ding. the night vision and the end goal. All right. So, so how are you gonna mount your night vision? You gonna go old school with the head harness? No, I'm gonna get some Japanese shit until I can get the other grip. That's not gonna work, dog. That's not. I <laughs> promise you, that's not gonna work. Hey, it's hey, not gonna hey. work. Yo, I'm not gonna throw anybody <laughs> under the bus. I'm hey, not gonna throw anybody. <laughs> under the bus. They tried that shit and their shit wouldn't even click. It wouldn't even hook up. That's a good question. How long is night? What's up, Mike? My man, Mike, man. I suppose I called you today too, man. Night vision lock? Hey, Dust. He only walk around on your setup from what I'm hearing. I don't have it. I'm going to have a clove of garlic and shit. <laughs> no, no vibe. You can ask, answer Mike question. Money Mike. <laughs> Money Mike. Like answer his question because I don't know. It, you know it, it, it depends. Honestly, it depends on the quality of the tubes and how, how hard you use them. Because you can have some tubes that's like really, really good. You have some tubes that's really, really crappy. And also the generation of the tubes. Yep. With night visions, you'll get specs and spots in them and everything else. So they got different classes and different grades, right? So they have like uh, no more than X amount of um, black uh, spots for this area and that area. And that's what gives them the grade. So like for your aviation tubes, which are like the most that you'll see. Thank um, you, Shanna. It, so it, it depends on how hard you use them also. Then, like, if you really do your maintenance on them, like, send them to your third shop where they get purged and they go under oscilloscope and all that other stuff. If you run them hard, I've seen brand new tubes get dogged out in less than a year. But these I guys know, run them hard. I know, you, I know, dust, man. Dust is like that Bob Watch Cry One shit. But some things, you know, what I mean, yeah, I, got, I got shit, bro. I just, I, you know, I know, hey, I, know I know you. Hey, I'm hey, gonna select hey, you. Hey, Joe been kicking me in the head with just get the best, get 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 good shit from the door. This but is I the am very thing. selective. This is this is the whole focus of the law. I'm starting out, right? I don't know shit. Let me just start out and then let me grow. See, all right, all right, all right, all right. You know what I mean? I didn't have, I didn't have, yo, I wasn't born with Gucci shoes. Me neither, nigga. What the hell are you saying? What the hell are you I talking about? I wasn't born with the Gucci shoes. But what happened was, time you called me, like it's not working for me no more. Hey, 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 Armel, check this out, man. Every hey, time stop. you call me, where am I? Every hey, time you call me, you pick hey, up the phone. Hey, you be at work. I'm at work. I'm at work all the fucking time, bro. All the time. I fucking God damn. at work, bro. You got damn. Hey, Armel, man. I'll get you a couple of high points. You go catch a lick, get your money up. Yo, I know the whole hub with high points, and they ain't got they got plenty bodies on them, bro. <laughs> hey you man, it's no money. Money. Yo, for real, for real, hot points is the hottest selling joint in the entire hood, right? The cats got Glocks, right? Getting bodied by by high points and skies, bro. This is true. Yeah, hey man, them shit selling, yo, them shits might as well stamp criminal on them with Damn. motherfucking guns, bro. Shit. A Glock is a flex, right? A Glock in the hood, a Glock is a flex. In the hood, a yeah. high point well, yeah. is a body. A sky is a body, bro. Holy shit. What happened? Uh, I'm looking at some of these prices and like for yeah, our, um... But yo, we got to get out of here because my daughter is upstairs by herself and we not used to... She yeah, yeah, yeah. Do what you got to yeah, do, bro. We good. Man, yo, it's been a fun live, man. Thanks you guys for supporting. Shanna, Money Mike. Money Mike, hit yeah. me up tomorrow. Yeah, thanks, Shana, for, for Hit me up tomorrow, me. man. Hit the like button. Yo, I'm flexing in Daggone, Georgia. So Money Mike, hit me up because we're going shopping. Yo, <laughs> I'm flexing. I'm flexing on them. I'm flexing on them hard. Yo, anyway, but this is just on mail, man. I might not because this is the controller. But <laughs> well, I don't know what you're talking and about. And she's trying to flex on me with a that damn $3,500 goddamn She's smart. Points. She's doing her research while your ass is snoring. She's like, I'm going to get me this gun. I'm going to get me no, this No, we just walked in the gun because she's appealing, so it's eyes. She's like, this is nice. It's like the paint and the way the stock was, I think it was. What was it? It was very different from anything there. It was a bolt. It was a bolt action. It. I, I, seen, I seen what I know exactly which one you're talking about. It's great. Okay.
It's a bolt, it's a GF bolt gun. That thing was sexy. GF ten. Get you. And it yo, was just listen. sexy, and, and the bolt was just like. Shh, shh, shh. Listen, that's the that's the. It's just, the paint. The, I don't you, think it's coat, but it was fucking immaculately smooth. Nice. Listen, you 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 say that the special forces this, special forces that, that bolt gun in that caliber with some nice glass, she's going to be touching people at seven, 800. And you're going to be like, damn, babe. <laughs> Actually, man, that, that, that eight, six and those subsonic rounds, it's not, it's not I really don't know about that. subs. Yo. Yeah. So, Yo, six. if she did get it, guess what she asked me? Am I going to put the sight mark on it? I said, yeah, I got a couple to put on it. <laughs> Yo, I'm dead. I'm out of here with that one. Don't let him scumbag you. Listen, mama, tell him, tell him you want a night force. <laughs> tell him you want a night force. No, she asked me if I was going to put the sight mark on it. I said, yeah. Tell him you want a, yeah. him you want a night force. I got a couple tell, him, tell him you want a Schmidt and Bender. Schmidt and Bender for the win, baby. <laughs> tell him, or, or you want a Kales. Tell, a Schmidt and Bender. Tell him you want a yeah. Schmidt and Bender. I'll yeah, send you the link. I'll send that's you the links. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Ain't nothing wrong with sight mark. Leave it alone. Hey, have a good one. Thanks for having me. Thanks. Yo, Joe Bob.